Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, Sprinkle Sprinkle. So today, we are going to be talking about exclusivity, which means when you are in an exclusive relationship, means he pays the bills now, or he provides. So this is one of the many standards that I suggest having when dating. Um, seriously, okay? The comments are going to be delayed about 30 seconds. So I see there's already a few people in the house. Thank you all for being here. So when you decide to be exclusive to a person, when they take you off the market, they need to be paying all bills, period, or else you're still on the market, which means you're still available to date other men or whoever you're trying to date. It's, it's not right for a man to take you off the market and you still working and paying bills. Because what if there's a man out there that wants to pay your bills and wants to date you, but you're passing it up because you're being exclusive with a dusty. Okay. So this is why I tell women to continue to date and keep your options open. If you're not satisfied financially in the current relationship. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thanks. Appreciate you for a super, super sticker. So um, you have to make sure that you keep your standards high or otherwise you'll get taken advantage of, okay? You're going to miss out on opportunities, miss out on going out, miss out on meeting certain people that can provide or treat you better or give you a better lifestyle by being cooped up with a Dusty who's not paying any bills, okay? You could be, you could be missing your husband, your future provider, stuck up under a Dusty who ain't providing or giving you anything. So this is why I say, ladies, you need to keep your options way open and you do not commit fully to anybody unless they can commit fully to you financially, period. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. Appreciate you. So uh, thank you for the super chat. So you have to make sure 100% that you're sure you want to go exclusive with a certain person and that they know in advance that they will be providing. That is the deal. Okay. Because I see a lot of ladies who ask me, I'm married to a Dusty or I'm in a relationship with a Dusty. Can, what can I do? You can go get a sugar daddy and you can keep your options open and you can continue to date if you're not happy financially in the relationship that you are in. And usually it's always the woman who are trying to take themselves off the market and want exclusivity with men who can't offer them anything. That's working backwards, ladies. You don't take yourself off the market unless you don't have to contribute financially anymore and you pretty much have the lifestyle that you've been looking for. Okay. Now, <laughs> thank you, Deidre, Sprinkle Sprinkle. So, I, I mean, it's, it has to be obvious. Like, as ladies, we cannot be afraid to say what we want because men will think that it's wrong if you think it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? If you are afraid to say, I'm not going to ever be exclusive to any man unless he's totally providing for me. I'm not taking my options off, off the table if you're not going to give me the lifestyle that I feel like I deserve. So if he wants exclusivity with you, that means he wants to pay them bills. All right. It's not wrong, ladies. It is your standard. That's it. I always like to go back into, you know, when I was younger and I was out there dating, this was the norm for attractive women. Let me repeat that. Back in the 90s, if you are a very attractive woman, this was the norm, especially if you were dating older men or men with money. This was the norm. There was no pick me should this, pick me should that. Oh, should I do that? Only pick me shoulds. And women with zero standards or very low standards would not suggest this. Okay. So think about this. When I was younger, this is the norm to make sure before you enter any exclusive relationship, especially if you're a grown woman 
and it's a grown man, they must pay them bills, period. Or else you're not exclusive. And some even paid bills before you were exclusive so that they can get you to become exclusive to prove that they could pay those bills. I know. And it's not just about bills. What paying bills allows a woman to do is save her money, do her thing, relax in her feminine, so on and so forth. So that's what we have to think about. If you're going to be in a woman's life, you need to allow her to rest in her feminine, which means she's going to be stress-free and financially stress-free. Okay. So that, that standard, a lot of men will say, okay, well, that's fair because they know you're passing up opportunities by being exclusive. So they don't want you to feel like you're missing out on anything so that they're, they're going to compensate you. Okay. You said it's called courting. Yes. You don't tell them you're dating other men. Okay. You, you don't tell them anything. <laughs> so. A lot of you guys are talking about the modern man. Those aren't the target. You're saying modern men, those are dusties. Those aren't the target, ma'am. You got to go for classier, older provider type men. Okay. <laughs> and by all means, if you have one of those, do not play my videos around them. Because you know what? You might think that they're okay with it, but they're really just getting the info for when they need it. Okay. So if you're in an exclusive relationship, don't play these videos around your man. What you're doing, then let me tell y'all, and men who are already watching it, who's girlfriends has already shared the videos. Let me tell you, you may not know it now, but if, if something goes wrong, you're going to blame her for watching the videos. You're going to have all the information. She can't even use the knowledge that she's gaining to get more out of you as a man. So ladies, get some headphones. Thank you. Okay. I had to get that out of the way because some people will never understand or have, you know, the common sense to do the right thing. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all are silly. What do I think the victim mentality of women that project is what lifts the men and makes them superior? If they were the superior gender, they would have the babies, man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I think women who take the, the victim role simply don't want to take responsibility for their standards. <laughs> okay. Because I would never be in a victim role because I'm getting my money. Period. That's it. I'm getting my money. Ain't no victim over here. Because <laughs> I will be paid, period. Um, your level up, my level up books arrived today. Oh, yes. I hope you got yours. Did you get this one? This one is really good. Tough love and lots of information to keep you motivated on your level up journey mentally as well. Thank you. Okay, and the link is at the top for all my books. Okay. <laughs> you said watch the videos incognito. Exactly. Or you can watch them, but put, put your earbuds in. <sighs> it's not really a secret. It's just that some of you guys are just watching it straight where they can hear everything, and it's not really productive. So... If a man is, if you're living in the same house, house with a man or you're getting ready to move in with a man or you're trying to take your relationship to the next level and move in or get married or whatever, this discussion needs to be had about the bill paying. So never move in with a man unless he's paying for everything in the household. Okay. It's up to you when you want to stop working or not, but 
if you are, you know, trying to get your career up, work, 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 whatever. But when it's time to marry and settle down and have children, if that's what you choose to do, I wouldn't work during those times. I would instead work on something else more personal or do something I could get paid for at home, you know, but I would not be working and trying to raise a family at the same time. I, you know, a lot of women do it, but I can't. It would just drain me. And I like my energy. Sprinkle, sprinkle, you know. So make sure, you know, you're resting in your feminine if that's the lifestyle that your man can provide for you. Okay. And make sure when you choose the type of man that you're going to be spending your life with or start a family with, make sure he's able to financially provide for you. If you're going to be exclusive to him, that means if you're going to marry him and if you are going to be exclusive to only that one person without other options on the table. You just left yesterday's. Oh, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate you, girl. So that was on my other channel. I appreciate you. Y'all need to read the names on the channels, but I appreciate you. What if you don't want to have kids? Then don't have a baby. Um, why don't men like women who are just as attractive as them? I think that being pretty would attract good looking rich men, but attract ugly poor men because Pretty men want to be the pretty man in the relationship, okay? They need an ugly pygmisha, so ugly pygmisha can pay his bills, okay? Ugly men got money to pay pretty women's bills, okay? This is how it works. That high school stuff is not real in the real world, all right? When you get out of high school, it's time for reality. When you get out of your 20s or mid-20s, it's time to choose lifestyle or looks, baby, which one are you going for? <laughs> so sometimes you can have both. But as a woman, you need to be the pretty one in the relationship always. Okay. Yeah, pretty men are for your youth before you need, before you have bills. Okay. Pretty men are for before you have bills. All right. So if you ain't got no bills and you still young, go, go for all the pretty boys you want to do. Don't get pregnant. When them bills start coming in, you got to change it up. You got to change it up. <laughs> because if you don't, you're going to start to see pretty is not going to be as attractive to you in men anymore. Okay. When they got their hand out, it's not real pretty at all. So get your money. <laughs> so a lot of, a lot of women feel like, you know, well, I don't know how to ask for this. You're a woman. It's expected. Okay. It's expected. Otherwise, that's not a real man. You know what I'm saying? And you're letting them get away with getting exclusive rights with you for free. Okay. There's no way you should be living in a house or moving into a man's house, being exclusive with him and taking yourself totally off the market if he's not providing now, if he is, if you are already in a relationship and he can't provide for you, then you have every right to be out there and keeping your options open. You got every right to be out there and finding a sugar daddy. But if, if the guy that you chose and you agree that he needs to pay your bills and financially support you before you guys get into an exclusive relationship, then that's what he's counting on. And that's how you can actually work towards getting the ring. Okay. This is a preview of how it's going to be when you're married and how he's going to financially support you. And if he's a good provider, this is going to show you a glimpse of how he's going to behave financially. Okay. <laughs> So y'all have to keep that in mind. It's nothing against them. It's not gold diggerish. It is realistic if you're working towards exclusivity and a long-term relationship. Okay. You said it's hard to keep your options open when that goes against your against your faith. You're married and conditioned, condition, huh? considering giving my husband a second chance to pay all the bills. Okay. We'll give him a second chance to pay all the bills, you know, and I don't like to tell people how to believe in their faith, but your faith has nothing to do with keeping your options open because uh, 
A man keeps his options open no matter what his faith is. <laughs> okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. Believe, I know. Um, so just think about that. So it's up to you, though. It's literally up to you. I'm not being exclusive with no man unless everything is paid. <laughs> yeah, we create the societal norms that create pigmishas and all this. So Whatever we start demanding, ladies, is what society will become because we rule the society. So if enough women stop accepting dusties and 50-50, then that's going to be the new societal norm. You understand? So get with it. <laughs> get with it. You said a lot of older men are happy that the sprinkle sprinkle movement is going on. I know. It gives them more reason to live and stay healthy. Get that AARP, all right? Sparkle, sparkle. Thank you. Appreciate you. ABC. It's like I got another reason to live. I better watch my my cholesterol. <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure that they're loving this. I'm sure that they're loving the new you know, amount of women out there willing to date them because they understand provider. Thank you, V. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He asked me if I'm dating anyone else. We are not. Okay, you don't have to, you can lie all the time, baby. We cannot afford, we cannot afford be official or we're not official but he provides for everything it's been three months i answer yes because i couldn't lie to him but why now he is jealous okay because i told you why bye you can't fix it you got to go back in time and lie baby <sighs> lie If I was your mother, for real, I, I, you gonna be in, you would be grounded. What, why can't you lie to him? I'm sure he's lied to you 20, 30 times by now. <laughs> this is the problem. You have too many moral standards. Who do I sound like? This is the problem. You don't have good moral character. <laughs> No, ma'am. Go back in time and lie. How can you fix it? Start to lie in the future. Lie right now and say, you know what? I just want to see how you would react and if you really loved me. And I want to see if you would get jealous, but I am not dating anybody else. I just want to see your reaction. Lie and keep lying. Okay? Because you, if you keep telling the truth to men, you're always going to lose. <laughs> Gotta lie. <laughs> Let me go back up because y'all get on my nerves and I can't lie. You ain't Abraham Lincoln. Shut up. Lie from now on, ma'am. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. If you're not going to lie from now on, don't even ask me no questions. Stay off the channel. <laughs> All right. Um, let me show you. I didn't miss. I, don't, I, I got your super chat. I, I, I answered. You probably didn't hear me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. At least I think I got it. <laughs> All right. We can scroll back on it. I got it. Put my fan on, it's so hot now. Mm. Sugar Daddy wants you to call him and text him more. Should I? I like to be chased. Just text him one word. 
Let him finish. I got back together with your 42 year old ex who lives in Miami. He invited you to go rent free and rent a new apartment he bought. I'm 21 in a small Utah town. How can I be smart about this? Okay. I mean, what are the benefits? Just rent? Do you get a car? Do you get money? You know, I'm not finna live in nobody's house if I can't have no car. You have a car you can bring over there? If you want to get out of Utah and you, you know, that's, I don't know why you asking me the question. Sparkle, sparkle. It's up to you. Is it beneficial to you? Is that what you want? If the answer is yes. Then if that's what you want, then don't let nobody stop you to do what you want. All right. So your husband paid 80% of the bills. My problem is he step is oh his stepmom and his sisters talk about me every chance they get. What should I do? I'm pretty and I have nice shit. Girl, who cares? They they step, they step. Tell them to step, but they step selves. Girl, why do y'all care what people think? Oh, I'll just continue being my best version uh, and make them even more hateful. You know, just keep leveling up and, and give them some more to hate on. Y'all gotta stop caring about stupid stuff. Okay, because I could care less. And y'all need to develop that attitude because if you don't, you're going to be asking dumb questions for the rest of your life about what other people think of you instead of focusing on yourself, getting your bag, and living your best life. So who cares? You get off work at six. Can you still go to happy hour? Yeah, go to happy hour, girl. Spark, spark. Some happy hours last till about seven or eight. Some happy hours bleed over and a lot of people stay. So, yeah, go, go ahead. But if, if you got to go home and change and all that kind of stuff and go back, it's going to be probably all the good people are going to be gone by then. The other channel should be Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Appreciate you. Okay, so, yeah, y'all got to get it together. Come on. Get it together. If y'all ask me about somebody else and what they think about you, I'm not answering the question. Because but you should have learned by now to stop caring what other people think. If no money from their account is going into yours, stop caring. Who cares? Okay? Are you going to cry yourself to sleep at night because somebody don't like you? Then I can't help you. Because I don't lose no sleep. Believe. <laughs> I'm, I'm sleeping like a baby every night. Got plenty of REM. R-E-M. Sleep. <laughs> All right. Stop caring so much. It's not it's it, they don't matter. <laughs> All right. So stop caring. Don't ask me no more questions about other people who don't like you. I don't care. I'm starting not to like you either. All right. Stop caring so much what other people think you won't respect. You want people to like you. Stop caring about them. OK, the only reason people talk about other people, because they ain't got nothing else to do. There you go. Sure. What do you think about men who date, sleep with trannies and try to sleep with? Well, do they tell you this? Are they being honest with you about it? You said, should we still take their money? I mean, it's up to you. To, it's up to you who to take money from, but you don't have to sleep with anyone you don't choose to sleep with. You can still get their money. In fact, if they like trainers, you can lie and say you want until until it's time. You can reverse. You can reverse. You can reverse it on them. You're like, yeah, I'm training. Oh, I can't even tell. I know. Right. Give me my money. <laughs> so, you know, you could say that everybody think I'm a trans. So, you know, who cares? Just get your money from every direction. And you don't even have to sleep with nobody. Okay. I switched my wig so much. They think I'm supposed to be on RuPaul's Drag Race or something. <laughs> anyway. It's a compliment to me. Shoot, I don't care. You said it's the bone structure for me. Yes.
Y'all probably they gonna find a sound bite. Or y'all gonna see the TikTok saying I'm trans. <laughs> It'll be our inside joke. Maybe less people will come up to be saying sprinkle sprinkle when I go out. Or more. It might backfire. What do I do trapped with a dusty and kids? Get you a sugar daddy. Go out, go to happy hour, find, you know, let your Dusty watch the baby, if that's his daddy, or find a babysitter, or do something, take him to your mama house, and go get you a sugar daddy. Level up, and get out. <laughs> find hope. Okay? That's the best thing I can tell you. All right. I'm everything by now on this channel. I was a, a drag king, pig Misha, a priest, reverend. I'm everything. <laughs> I was a nun. You go back about five years, or maybe four years. I was a nun. 20 years old. And you keep meeting men who don't keep the same effort after a date or two. How do I get them to spend more on me? You have to be memorable and exciting, ma'am. You got to give that extra oomph. If you're boring and blah, nobody's going to want to call you back. I'm not saying you're boring and blah. I'm just saying if you don't excite them, if you don't create dopamine within their brain, if they don't feel like you're a drug, they're not calling you back. Okay? Sparkle, sparkle. How do you flirt with men so I can get money? Just like that. Flirt with them. Eye contact, smile, glance at them, and make them walk over. If you got you gotta look cute. You manifested some subscri some subscribers. Oh, you manifested me some subscribers. Thank you, girl. So appreciate you. Thank you, uh, Mariah. 42. Disabled, haven't dated since 2019. Where do I start? Find a group that other disabled people are in that are dating, you know, or some people have fetishes, you know. I don't know what kind of disabled, um, I don't know how disabled you are, but you need to get in where you fit in, ma'am. Okay. You need to get in where you fit in. You need to go look up groups or dating sites, you know, for people that have disabilities. Okay. I don't know what to tell you because I don't know what kind you have. Um, so thank you for the donation, by the way. All I can say is, you know, you have to be the type of woman that men can't forget. OK, or that they can't stop thinking about or that they don't want another man to have or just someone that piques their interest above all others. OK, that's how you keep getting more dates. And sometimes, even if you do, you, you may be too much for them because they may be used to boring. And so it just depends on what they're looking for. Maybe you aren't what they're looking for, you know. So if you're meeting men online, I'm not sure. It's harder to keep dates going if you meet them online because you don't have a lot in common. And they're continuously swiping and swiping and they find better options from just swiping. If you meet someone in person you're usually going to have more in common and the chemistry and the attraction is going to be stronger. So you, that's what I'm saying. Meet in person and stop doing this online dating and wasting your time. I mean, if it's just for practice, great. But if you're, if you're really trying to keep a man interested, don't meet them online. I missed your chat. Do a sugar daddy skit. <laughs> okay. Valerie sprinkle, sprinkle. Sugar daddy gave me his, his bins. Should I still sleep with his bins? Decurse? Should I still sleep with him? I mean, that's up to you, ma'am. Sparkle, sparkle. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Level up as a wife. Yes. Sparkle, sparkle. Mm. 
All right. How do you ask for an allowance? Just like this. Um, I'm going to need some money. Um, and I don't, I don't really know how to, you know, come every month and tell you how much I need. So let's just get on an automatic deposit from your bank account to mine or to my PayPal. So we don't have to talk about money anymore. And that way I can have all my needs met so we can focus on the relationship. That's how you ask. All right. I already answered that question. So, yeah, thank you. God. Thank you. So, yeah, you got to make sure you just ask. If you're a woman, you look good. He want to sleep with you. Just ask or tell him like that. If, if he got to go, he got to go. You know, you, you should know the right time to ask and how to ask if, if y'all are in a relationship. So you just moved in online dating is how you meet new people. I'm under 21. I can't go to a bar. Where do I, you recommend? Okay. Well, I mean, if you're under 21, you can still go out and do things, but um, I guess online is okay for you now, but as soon as you turn 21, you need to get out there. Okay. Or just go walk around during the daytime at different places in a nice area because yeah, online is not so good because you're, it's too much competition. Okay. Um, okay. So y'all ask, y'all ask some good questions. Don't ask the same old stupid, dumb questions. I'm sorry. I have to put it that bluntly, but y'all know. Y'all know better. Okay. So a lot of, a lot of women have issues asking for stuff. This is problem number one. You don't know your value. And so you have to ask permission. You have to figure out how to ask and you're scared. That energy right there is repelling your money. If you know you deserve something, you have no problems or issues letting the man know that you know your worth. Okay. Cause y'all are too scared of everything. If a man ain't scared to ask you to sleep with him or to send you some nude pics, but you're scared to ask him for a hundred dollars or to pay some bills or to put you on an allowance or to buy you a gift, that means you don't value yourself. And he values himself more than you value yourself because you've been conditioned and trained to think it is wrong to value yourself. And that's why y'all don't get nothing. Because you're afraid. You don't know your value. But you know who does know your value? The men. I love giving money to women. I believe as a man, my purpose in life is to give money to women and to work hard so I can keep giving money to women. Provider men know their purpose is to give and give and give with no expectation. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. We appreciate your your donation, sir. Appreciate you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So thank you, thank you, sir, for letting the ladies know that there are provider men who like to provide. Get your money, ladies. You said that was that was that a troll? I don't know if that was a troll, but they did say a, a mouthful, and it made sense. <laughs> Do you always have to get dolled up? I mean, it depends on what type of man you're going to attract. Do you want a man who likes dolled up women? It just depends on who you're trying to attract, how you feel. And you like, for example, if you want to test the theory of getting dolled up versus going out and not being so dolled up, it's your choice. It's a numbers game. So you can experiment all you want and whatever works best for you. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. It works for me. OK, because like back in the old days, if I if I went out looking like this, I'm catching point blank period. I'm catching all stuff paid. Don't got to pay for nothing. The whole night. Everything paid. With future dates. Okay. So, but if I go out looking blah and plain, I don't know. I, I don't know. I might not get the attention that I'm getting now. 
looking dolled up. So it's up to you. Sometimes, okay, so sometimes men think you look a certain way or like someone that they're attracted to. And so that's what they're literally going for. Some guys like, oh, you look just like this person or you look just like that person. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking for, oh my gosh, that girl looks like her. Or that girl looks like this person. That girl looks like this celebrity. And so when you're dolled up because celebrities doll up, you start to give off this energy that you're valuable. You know what I'm saying? So just think about that. <laughs> Do you have to pay taxes on $1? Yeah, yeah, girl, they start taking that money. Sprinkle, sprinkle on cash out. That's messed up. Where is my phone, by the way? I don't even know where it went. Oh, here it is. So, yeah, creating the fantasy, darling. So, yeah, just do what you got to do. Do what works best for you. You say, if she wrote out, went out looking like that, she's picking me up in her car and paying the whole night. Driver's seat. <laughs> Only if you're a child. Yes, I'll take you to get some ice cream. And I'll take you to Chuggy Cheese. All right, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> That's what you acting like. <laughs> Or chuck and cheese. Come on. <laughs> so anyway, I gotta turn on my little fan because these lights are hot. Woo. Let's see. Hold on, y'all. I'll go back up here. Trying to get the oh shoot, hold on. Trying to get all the what the heck? Hold on one second, y'all. All right, I got it now. It's hot. Okay, now I can see all the super chats. Ta -da. See if the ones I missed. How to level up as a wife, get more money from husband, don't work, but I'm a sale. Girls, start looking super good. You got to look super good and ask for things when you look super good. The other channel should be prerequisite. Okay, yeah. So let me tell y'all a story about James. Let me get through these comments first. What do I do trapped with a dusty? Okay, I, I answered that one. Get a sugar daddy. Okay. Answer that one. Answer that one. Answer that one. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Davina. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Dating a provider who gives you fifteen hundred a month. All you need for now. He likes compliments. I don't want him to start to think he is attractive. Advice. <laughs> then a compliment about other things like his intelligence, okay, or his you know his humor. So a compliment him about other things besides his looks. Uh oh, thank you, sprinkle, sprinkle, Shayla. Appreciate you. Um, you need a bigger ring. How should you proceed? Like losing it, it is too obvious. Okay. Um. If you need a bigger ring, is I mean, is it little? Is it real little? <laughs> Tell them what you want for your first anniversary. Say, on my on our first anniversary, I want you to upgrade my ring. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> it's like you know what I want for our first anniversary, my first anniversary gift, a ring upgrade. <laughs> then he'll be like, oh, you don't like your ring? It's too small. We can change it right now if you want. But see, if you're not too upset or too picky or too demanding and just say you want it as an anniversary gift, then he might go ahead and switch it up for you sooner. Because, yeah, <laughs> it's nicer. 
What's my take on this generation? Why are women accepting so much less where we need other women to tell? Okay, let me tell y'all where it all went wrong. Let me tell y'all where it all went wrong. The neo soul movement. And, and no, nothing against Erica Badu and them and Maxwell and y'all, but they made Dusty look glam. And then all the Dusty started thinking that they was all of that. And, and, and looking like who did it and why, the glam was optional. So the grunge, the grunge era and the neo soul era allowed people to, to romanticize the dusty hood or the dusty living, okay? And even Erica Badu said in a roundabout way that they told her to dress like that. They told her what to wear during her early days. And she didn't really want to wear it because that's not how she started off anyway. But since there was this neo soul movement and she had to fit in, she, or, you know, she wore all the stuff and it became a trend to be the dusty hole taps. And that's where the, the word dusty comes from. Okay. Because they'd be ashy wearing them sandals walking around and they feet be ashy. So that's where the, the term dusty comes from. They dusty. All right. So now y'all know the story. Now, after that, there was a whole level up movement, but a lot of them dusty stayed dusty because they was really dusty. They was just in disguise among the people that were, you know, fashionably neo soul. And they started to try to blend in, but they was really just broke. All right. And it was too late because Pig Misha had fell in love and Dusty had got her addicted. And thus began the Pig Misha and Dusty era for the new generation. Okay. But there's the story in a nutshell. The grunge an alternative for, you know, the alt people, neo soul for, you know, for the black people and the people of color. So now you're all stuck with Dusty's because of a fashion trend and a music trend. <laughs> That's what happened. Now you got to get back to the early 90s glam where everybody was getting that money. Okay, that's why the 90s styles are coming back so you can get your money, man, and sir. Will you ever do a seminar? Nope, sprinkle, sprinkle, I'm so sorry. I will never meet and greet. If you see me in person, it's fine to say hello, but I will never strategically do a meet and greet. I'm so sorry. And, and let, let me tell y'all why. I don't understand why people want to do a meet and greet. There's no difference. I'm, I'm probably going to be nicer to you online. <laughs> Or more talkative online. So it's better just to meet me here. All right. And y'all have to think about this. I don't think of myself as a celebrity. I don't need to be doing no meet and greet. Okay. It's sufficient. Thanks. I was thinking year three after getting married. But year one is better for me. You can marry on your birthday. Oh, well, congrats. Hopefully you'll get your ring upgrade. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> All right. You said people are too crazy and deranged. Yeah. I can't meet people in person. Y'all know that. Unless I see y'all out and about. I've met like three people so far um, this week. So, um, <laughs> that, you know, it's a meet and greet almost every day now. Do people recognize some? Yeah, a lot of people do. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They they say sprinkle, sprinkle. That's how. That's the greeting. Um, and they're very nice. Like, I met one nice lady at a restaurant. She was the hostess, and she sat, she sat us. And then I met another young lady at the beauty supply shop the other day. <laughs> and someone else, I can't remember where, but you know. Shira, I'm just sending you some love. Oh, thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. To upset my haters. <laughs> thank you, Susie. I appreciate you, girl. Yes. 
Okay, this sand is blowing my wig. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Okay, thank you. How do you ask for money when he said he was gonna give it to you and he hasn't? Ask him, ask him, say, did you forget that you were supposed to be giving me some money? You gotta say it with an attitude. You can't be, you can't be too nice because it, a lot of men take your nice kindness for weakness. So they know you're gonna ask, but if they don't respond or don't finish doing what they said that they were gonna do, they're no you may not ask again because you might be perceived as a gold digger. But if you look better than them and they are lucky to be dating you, you need to go ahead and ask again and tell them, did you forget that you were supposed to give me some money this week? <laughs> because I'm still waiting. I, you know, I got stuff to take care of. Are you going to do it or not? This is how you got to talk to these dudes. Okay. This is how you got to how to talk to him because that means I'm highly upset. I'm upset. You're still trying to impress me and you're not coming through. You are already messed up. You better put some extra up on top of that money or else, you know, I'm going to get it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So that's why you got to pick the right target, because if they like you enough, they're going to go get you the money that they already promised you. <laughs> oh, you said finish telling the James story. Ah, dang, I almost forgot the James story. OK, so. um. Oh, a married lady asked me, um, should she level up being married? Can she get more money from her husband? The answer is yes. Since I've been looking cute for the last week and upgraded some of my wigs and my makeup and, and got some new, James bought me a bunch of new clothes. Actually, he just gave me his credit card and told me to go shopping online. Now he's paying for a trip for us, me and the kids and him to go on a flight to a disclosed location I will not be saying until we get back. I've, I, I was literally, I've ignored him for three days straight in a nice way. <laughs> I know, it's so mean. He was asking me to scratch his back last night. I pretend I couldn't hear. Um, then he asked, <laughs> he's been on, basically he just been on hold for a while. So he's trying to, he's trying to, he's trying to get his, my attention, but you know, it keeps him doing nice things. So you can't be too nice. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all can't be too nice. Even after 22 years, you can't be nice. This is how you get more. This is how you get more. You keep, you stay leveled up and you stay who you are. Not too nice because you know, they like that. It makes them still feel relevant. You know, like this fan's blowing my hair and it turned off. So just don't be too nice to your husband, ma'am. If you want him to respond and give you more money. I always have a problem with something. <laughs> but you got to stay leveled up. Do you think? Okay, don't ask me. About, okay. I know y'all are new to the channel, so I'm going to give y'all one more chance. I'm putting you in timeout. Do not ask me about other YouTubers on my channel. Okay, I'm going to give y'all a timeout warning. Next time, y'all going to be blocked if y'all ask me about anybody else. I don't do that on my channel. I don't talk mess. At least not talking mess directly with people's names. Okay? <laughs> Why do... What do I do when your man is cheating on me, but he is rich? You... Tell him to meet you at the car dealership because you need to upgrade on your car. Or you tell him, let's go looking at new homes and upgrade on your home. Or you need to go look at second homes if y'all have it that good. Okay. So you need a gift. You need a grand gesture gift, whether it's a vacation, a trip to wherever you want to go. You need something major because he's going to cheat, but he needs to pay for your forgiveness. Now, if you, you can also cheat back if you choose to, or you can divorce. But I'm, I'm get some money out of it first. Get some gifts. Let him try to apologize with gifts. <laughs> what are the best subjects when freestyling? Him. Whoever you're talking to, that's the best subject. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Cams. And thank you, Shayla. So talk about them. Ask them questions. Let them elaborate on them. Men love to talk about themselves. Okay. Because they're trying to impress you so that they need to talk themselves up. <laughs> he 
said Dusty's going to provide her man too. Well, you know, they got to get in line. We got first. <laughs> we have first. Dusty's got to get in line. What are some nice ways to be mean? Never be satisfied, ma'am. So, for example, if they do something nice for you, you don't be satisfied, especially if you're married. You just say, thank you, or, oh, that's nice. And on the fifth time, on the fifth try, then you say, thank you so much. You know, you give them that fifth one, you know, work your way back up to five. The, the next four times, oh, thanks, that's nice. Oh, well, you, you know, it's nice, but you could have done this, you know, stuff like that. Then the fifth time, you're happy. Or whenever you choose to be the happy time, okay? Just, oh my gosh, thank you so much. How did you know? I was craving this and you must have just read my mind and brought it to me. Thank you so much. I was thirsty. So he could have bought clothes, trips, tickets, but you praise him for some water. <laughs> but keep it rotating. You know, keep it rotating. He, let him be surprised. <laughs> he said how to get a man to take you seriously you got to take yourself seriously first you serious about getting a man that's going to provide do you take yourself serious enough to walk talk and dress the part and act the part you know how they say how do how do you get an audience to take you seriously as an actress it, well the role you take and the part you play is going to depend on if they take you seriously or not. Are you dressed correctly? Do you fit the role? Do you know how to, you know, your lines, you know, so take yourself seriously first and then other, and then men will. Should I ask if he's offered to pay, but honest yet? What should I ask if he's, if he offered to pay, but honest yet? I don't understand what that means. Basically, if he offered to pay, get your money or leave him alone. Okay. Because men do that all the time to keep the conversation going. That's why you get the money the same day that they offer. Don't be waiting around for it. <laughs> so, uh, well, let's meet at the ATM or cash at me or Zell me or whatever. Is 6000 okay for engagement ring? Also, I have been thought. Why are y'all asking me if that's okay? If it's okay with you, it's okay with me, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I don't know. <laughs> Is it okay? You Do you like the ring? You know, I'm not the... I'm not the one that gives you permission to do what you got to do. That's up to you. If you like that ring, then it's, it's the right one for you. But thank you for the donation. Thank you, Jocelyn, for uh, the super chat. Appreciate you. Any advice for targets with good career and money, but no sexual experience? He's early 30s besides me, 34, and shy and insecure around women, but I don't want to leave things too much and seem desperate. Okay. Um, just get his money, girl. He ain't going to be worried about no sex. Unless he's trying to get, you know, get some for the first time. <laughs> just get his money. Why would you be desperate if he has no sexual experience? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, you should be happy about that. You just get just get his money, girl. Unless I read that wrong. Uh, hold on, let me scroll back up. All right. What to do if Dusty's from your hometown are talking about me in their group? chat mad because i won't provide girl who cares what dusty's think i keep i keep telling y'all who cares about what a dusty thing you gonna date any of them dusties you gonna marry any of them dusties and let them talk all they have to do is talk about women and gossip let them continue to be gossiping women okay that's what god that's what old women do sit there in the group chat and gossip all right so let them do what their what their hearts desire <laughs> Why you worry about some dusties with no money? All right. 
Can you give an example of first stage? I struggle with value in the presence of a wealthy man. Girl, you're the woman. You are the value. You're the reason men get wealthy. So stop thinking like that. Okay? You're the reason men wake up in the morning. Stop. Especially if you're, if you're pretty. Stop thinking that you're less. This victimhood mentality is what keeps y'all broke and taking care of dusties. Stop it. You're the reason why men are wealthy. So get their money. That's why they're making it to give to you. Does James pay his ex-wife bills too? No, his ex-wife makes more money than him. <laughs> or she did. I don't know. I told you she was Barbara the Builder. <laughs> but she made a lot of money. She worked for NASA. Okay. She was real smart. She had like five degrees. <laughs> uh oh, HB flow. Thank you, girl. Sparkle, sparkle. Okay. So you went on a date, and the boy took me to Walmart afterwards with no intentions of buying me anything he just wanted me to try on clothes girl bye sprinkle sprinkle you let a man take you to walmart to try on clothes and he didn't buy you nothing walmart not even target i hope he got that on film because i'm looking for the video right now on youtube because i know it's under comedy all right takes gold digger to walmart tries on clothes and not pay Girl, you somewhere on camera. All right, your name, Cam, girl, or just go together. He didn't got you. You need to go find that video. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. That sounds like a practical joke to me. Okay. They ain't even got a mall where you from, no Target. Unless it was late at night and that was the only thing open. I'm, I'm, I'm not fit to try on clothes. At no Walmart, ma'am. I'm just get the clothes. If they don't fit, I'm taking them back. <laughs> All right. You said that was a joke. <laughs> Girl, that's, if it's not, it needs to be in somebody's skit. All right. You need to start writing, ma'am. That could be a skit right there. Um. You said you need a glass of wine after that comment. I know, right? You're up. My heart started beating fast because I was I was getting mad for you. And then I thought, you know, that dude probably had a camera. And it's probably on somebody's YouTube channel as a joke now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so to answer your question, if that was real, you dumb. Period. Do not repeat ever again. Do not go to a man to Walmart and try on clothes ever again. Just buy the clothes. Tell him he buying. As soon as y'all walk in, I'm so glad you're taking me shopping. I need some new clothes. Or oh, will you try them on? I'm going to try them on later at home. Buy these clothes. See, if you would have said that, he would have thought you were going to take them home and try them on. You would have at least got the clothes and then shut them down afterwards. So that's what you should have done. You should have tried on no clothes in the store. You should have tried them on at home without him. I mean, he thought he was going home with you, but he was wrong. You, you understand? That's the game. You got you to gotta beat them at their own games. You've been watching for two years. Your advice taught me how to love and value myself. Now I'm with a man that adores me, is emotionally intelligent, and fully provides. All I can say is thank you. Oh, thank you, Keisha girl. Well, I'm so happy for you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Maybe maybe these ladies will be there in a few years and not in a Walmart dressing room. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You're 23 and live alone, having multiple men provide and don't work. What should I tell men I do for a living if they ask I want a bigger, big winner? Okay, so say, tell them you work online with doing data entry. I don't know, John, or customer service. I work at home. I do customer service online call center at home i don't know <laughs> take a least a least paying job 
or you file stuff online, girl, I don't know. Something that they don't care about or are not interested in at all. What's your opinion if he doesn't want to invest in clothes, makeup, but invest in business, bills, education, things like that? He's trying to break crime. Okay, well, tell him you need books for your education. Get you a bunch of books. Then take them back, get the receipt, and go shopping. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Because you can, like, books cost a lot of money. Yeah, and bills, too. Make up some fake bills. Get you some... Um, Make up some fake bills online or get you some a book list that costs a lot of money. And there you go. Or say that you're paying for an educational course and it's this much and then get your refund. You know, you're married to a provider, but I'm not happy with the lifestyle he's providing. What should I do? Wait for him to make more money. Well, it depends on how old he is because you can only make so much amount of money at a certain age with a certain amount of experience unless you get two jobs or apply for a higher paying job. So those are his options. You get two jobs, apply for a higher paying job or get you a sugar daddy. Those are the options. How to deal with meeting a fiance's ex-wife for the first time. Had a child with her. What to wear, how to act. Should I be a diva or nice? I'm 12 years younger than her, but she acts entitled to her. Um, I really wouldn't care. I, I know I'm just going to look good, period. I'm not trying to impress nobody. I'm already, I'm already winning. So it doesn't matter, you know? So don't try too hard. That's the, that's the whole thing. Just look cute. Don't try too hard. Because if she thinks she, she's already probably trying to outdo you, let her come looking overdone, overdressed and trying to compete where she can't compete. All right. And you just look pretty. All right. You already know she's going to do the most. So let her look like a, a clown for doing such. And you just look like your normal self and look cute. Okay. Cause, cause women will try to do that. It's like, a, I don't like competing with other women. Either you look good or you don't. <laughs> I'm not going to try to go all out. And then, you know, if she look, if she feels like she's looking better than you or she's more glam than you, maybe that'll boost her self-esteem and let her not hate you as much as she hates you, you know, let her get the win. It doesn't matter. You still got him. I wouldn't mind. I'd be like, yeah, girl, you look good. How you doing? Where you get them shoes at? So be complimentary and let her get that win. She already lost them. You might as well let her feel good. Either way. <laughs> okay. Um, should you let him fly you out for the first date? If he gives you money for the flight and hotel room, you're 25 and he's 54. Okay. First of all, he needs to be giving you money for the time that you're spending with him as well. So if you're 25, that means you probably got a job, right? So how much are you going to lose if you miss work? So you need to calculate that up. How much is parking at the airport if you park there? Even if you catch an Uber, how much is the Uber plus parking? We, we don't know. How much is it to board your three large dogs in a kennel that you don't really have? But how much do three dogs cost to board at a kennel for how many days you're going to be gone? You need to be charging him money so that you can go out of town. Unless you ain't never been nowhere and you just want to get on a plane and say you've been flewed out, then go ahead and do that. But you need to be compensated for money. Why? Because if if his frequent flyer miles on his credit card adds up, your flight is free, baby. Let me tell y'all, James have a credit card and he uses it all the time. There's thousands of dollars in points on there. Okay? That's probably why I got these new clothes. <laughs> all right? Because the credit card company gives that to them for free for using the credit card. So get some more money, baby. Three big dogs, time off work. Then you're going to lose your luggage. So when you get there, he got to take you shopping. But you're not even going to bring no luggage because you're going to pretend to lose your luggage. Just have a carry on. And then when you get there, go shopping, ma'am. That's how you get flued out the sprinkle sprinkle way. 
Okay, you need to make him believe you got some dogs. So get on YouTube and find some barking sound bites and start playing them in the background on a phone conversation. All right, y'all know how to get it together. Three large dogs are probably like seventy-five to hundred dollars a day at a kennel. Say so three times however long you're gonna be out there. Plus they gotta get groomed and bathed. That's that's an extra two three hundred dollars. So you can a good you get, you're looking at a good thousand right there. <laughs> All right. How to get money from a man that's pressing hard for me to go out with him. Tell him the reason why you don't want to go out with him is because you don't have the type of wardrobe that you feel confident and attractive in to go out. It's like, I, all I have is, you know, and when I think about going out, it gets, I get nervous because I don't have a lot of nice going out clothes. Then he's going to give you some money to go shopping. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But make him drag it out of you. Make it make it make it seem like it's a deeper problem, and make him drag it out of you. Like no, you know, I really do want to go out with you. I like you so much. It's just something else, and you know, I don't I don't want to tell you because it's like it's kind of embarrassing, but it's not bad. It's just it's something more, you know, just something that bothers me about myself. Oh, nothing's wrong with you. You're perfect. I know. I just you know I kind of feel insecure around you know, going out and there's other women who are more fashionably dressed than me and, you know, they have nicer clothes and I really don't have much as far as, you know, nice clothes to go out with. Oh, that's no problem. I'll buy you something. How much do you need? Oh, really? Oh, see now, now I definitely want to go out with you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That is the sweetest thing someone has ever, ever done for me. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, my gosh. That is so nice. You are so sweet. Well, you know, I just want you to be comfortable. I don't want you to be happy. I am happy. Now that I'm getting to go shopping. All right, so you got you to gotta throw it out like that. That's how you get your money. All right. Get your money. Get your money. So, you know, they want exclusivity. If they even want a date, sometimes you got to make a pay. <laughs> okay. You said, do I yell at Jane? Girl, yes. Not all the time. Just sometimes. That, that makes them excited when you yell at them. All right. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right. Should we list our providers on our car note? What if we don't want to be responsible if they end up stop paying the note? Yeah, make them cosign. Sparkle, sparkle. Cosign. Cosign. So, yeah, I do yell at him sometimes when he just does something I don't like. I, you know, I try to say it in a nicer way, but then if I get upset, I will yell, but not really bad, you know. The next sentence will be nice if I yell, but you know I mean business. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, but, you know, when you've been together for so long, it don't even, it, like, yelling is not even an issue. You back to being normal, like, five minutes later. So, it's not like in the beginning, in those emotionally draining relationships where y'all yell at each other and all they're all sad and don't know how to start talking again. We, we yell at each other and five minutes later, we watch a movie eating popcorn, okay? <sighs> talking about what we, what we need from the grocery store. Okay, sugar daddy angry. We haven't met after sending you some money. We quarreled over eight messages, but I quickly, okay, let me read this in this British accent. 
Let me get my British accent on. Are you SD angry? Actually, let me not do this British accent. I need to, I need to brush up. I need to go watch Bridgerton. All right. Okay, let me read your question. You quarreled over eight messages, but I quickly ended the quarrel to meet. He seems annoyed. How do I approach next meet? Okay. You should have played with him. Okay, this is where this is what you should have played with him at. When y'all met, you should have been sarcastic. You know what I'm saying? You say, you know what? Y'all met, you say, you know what? You almost didn't come. You <laughs> I almost didn't come, but you know, you're very interesting. So I wanted to come meet you. I hate fighting. But I'm glad I came. So how are you? So you should have want you should have been the one playing around. He wouldn't have been annoyed if you had said something like that. You gotta always be on your game, ma'am. Always have your game on. Don't just show up there looking like that. It's like, you know what? I almost didn't come. You gotta come in there with attitude. You know, I almost didn't come, but you're so interesting. I just had to meet you. I don't like fighting. But actually, I'm glad I came. How are you? I'm starving. Let's go get something to eat. All right, you got to get, you got to get a little attitude, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> they like that. Okay, they like it. Believe me. <laughs> uh -huh. Especially if you look good, they like it even more. Okay. I promise you, if you look good, they like it even more. If you ugly, don't even try. You got to be nicer. <laughs> Pick your battles. So if you're less attractive, this is how it will go. Oh, I'm so glad to meet you. Um, you know, oh, you look much taller in person. Wow, I do hate fighting. So, you know, shall we start over? That's how you got to do when you list attractive. You very attractive. If you're very attractive, you can have an attitude. And let me tell y'all why. Because when a man sees a very attractive woman, his dopamine levels skyrocket. Okay. When he likes what he sees. And when his dopamine is high, Any pain or painful comment that you give him feels good. All right? That's why I tell y'all to look good or y'all argue. Because you will always win. His dopamine is too high. And so anything you throw at him that's emotionally painful, he's going to like it. It's kind of like S&M. He's going to like it. He's going to like it. It hurts so good. All right? So, so I'm saying you got to look good or you got an attitude because they like it. And then in the future, you're training them to be addicted to you treating them bad. You win. <laughs> it is psychological. That's real game right there. So if you look good and you start training them with your attitude, it's going to feel good when you're mean to them. That's why I say he like it. Thanks for your advice to level up my appearance. In mindset, I used to agree to coffee dates, ha, ha, ha. Now every date is like Valentine's Day. He's a wealthy man that puts in a lot of effort. That's right. Thank you. What's your name? Louisa? Lisa? Lacia? Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes. Every day is like Valentine's Day, girl. What do you do when you're really in love with a guy, but he doesn't provide for you? Do I go for the money or stay for a little girl? When you can take a bill and mail in the word love on a check, that's when you stay. 
All right. When all the bills companies start taking love as payment, then stay. Okay. Because love don't last that long. Not that in love feeling. It's going to be gone and that brokenness still going to be there, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Unless he win the lottery or get a huge amount of money and still stays with you. So I would never, like, if you're young, get that out of your way. Like, stay in love for as long as you need to, but your next man need to have money. All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If you if you under 25, you can love him for a little while longer. But after the age of 25, you need to be starting to go get some money, ma'am. If you already over the age of 25, get you a sugar daddy on the side. All right. Because I, I can't do it. You, you know, that's that's a that's a horror story in the future. Only broke men don't like when women ask for money. Provider men love giving money to women every day. Her money is her money and my money is her money. Okay. I give more money to mean women <laughs> who are never satisfied and always want more. Uh oh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sam say he give mean women money all the time. Thank you, Sam. Next time, give me more. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So he, he like me. Next time, put 50 up there. <laughs> all right all right so this it seems like you just don't want his wife to kill what girl y'all be too scary about stuff y'all live in a neighborhood like that y'all need to be dating people that's less violent thank you fawn sprinkle sprinkle I appreciate that. Okay. How do you balance being daughter like cute, girly, bratty, spoiled, and being mean? Men like mean girls, you know, but also the old ones love daughter like girls. Okay. Well, I guess because like if you're if you're if he's old enough to be your daddy, then you already daughter like girl. <laughs> All right. If you're old enough to be your father, then you already you you ain't got to do nothing. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He gives you two thousand for a purse on a date. How do I ask for more money on the next date? And how long do I wait? Never slip with him. Okay, okay. So you got the purse. So have the purse on your next date after you purchase it. And pull out a raggedy wallet or a raggedy keychain. So get your rag most raggediest wallet. Go get you a wallet from Walmart. Oh, or go get you something cheap that looks really bad. Okay. Scuff it all up and pull it out of your purse. And you need a new wallet. Well, the wallet was this much more. Oh well, you want the set? You want to, you want you want a wallet to go with it? Yes, because it's so embarrassing pulling out this wallet. I have this nice purse, thanks to you. You are so sweet. I love this. I've gotten lots of compliments on it. But when I pull out my wallet, people look at me crazy. They think the purse fake. <laughs> Get the wallet, too, girls. Work, work. All right. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> you said the difference between bratty and me. It depends on what you need to get accomplished. You know, you can be bratty. Um, you know, but if you need something, you're trying to drive a point home, then you be mean. Okay. <laughs> You're 20, and this is how I got an old man to pay your bills. You got an old subway uniform from high school. Girl, I know I'm going to laugh. Took bread pics of me. Wait, what's that? Tired. Okay, girl. Subway, I'm thinking bread. Took tired pics of me at a random subway and told him my shift was for. PM to 10 PM four nights a week. 
Sprinkle, sprinkle, GI drink. I know that's right, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That is hilarious. <laughs> Something I would have done too, girl. That's what I would have done. <laughs> Girl, you should have been by the dumpsters crying at night. That's what I would have done. They made me take out the trash at night with these rats and roaches and criminals. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Are you trying to get some money from Sam, girl? Okay, Sam, somebody's giving you their cash app so you can go sprinkle, sprinkle them. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> All right. Kenny. You got it so good. You're spoiled. You don't have to do nothing. How do I avoid being lazy? Looking like who did it and why? Sometimes things. Okay. Always, you always got to have something to do when you wake up in the morning. Okay. So I, I have kids to take to school. So I have to get up, which starts my day. So I get up, make sure they get to school. Then I get dressed. I do my level up cosmetic packages, print out the little um, labels for the post. Then I go take them to the post. And then um, I come back home and I either check all my emails or do a live video or relax or watch TV or something. But you have to have something to wake up in the morning for, whatever that is. If you don't have any kids, you know, maybe you can get a pet or a dog that you have to get up and feed or something to make yourself get up, have errands to do, get you a planner and make plans just to do something in that day that requires you to get up and go out, maybe run an errand or maybe do a social media where you post every day so that you're accountable for getting up and looking cute. So just make sure that you have an activity that makes you get out of the bed and do something with yourself every day. Not every day, like you can rest on a weekend if you want to, but have something to go to every day. Okay. You said, do I work from home ideas for someone who's home every day? Start an online business. Okay, y'all, let me tell y'all what I do. Y'all need to get my book. Where is that? It's called How to Do What You Love. And there's like so many ideas in there. It's linked at the top with all my other books. I'm gonna link it again. But it gives you so many ideas on how to start an online business or what to do. You know, a lot of people sell cosmetics. Some people sell jewelry. Some people sell hair. You know, find you something that you can do and start doing it. Or some people just, you know, advertise for other people and do marketing. Okay. You said, I don't care about other creators. Yeah. Y'all going to get blocked bringing up other people. Like, I'm, I, I give people so many chances. If you, it, like, I, I say, please don't talk about other people in my comments because that's kind of, like, not nice. <laughs> Here you go. He said, start a YouTube channel like this idiot. She makes $1,000 a night. Okay. Well, you know, not at first. I started off with like 20 subscribers. I was happy when I saw 20. Oh, I got 20 subscribers. I've been doing this for 10 years, sir. Okay. I didn't wake up last night and start a channel. I've been on here since... 2015 or 14. All right. So don't be mad. Get your money up. Sure, you helped me so much after my divorce because I was so naive. You and a nice gay man taught me about <laughs> the true nature of these men. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle, fawn dog. That's okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, I'm glad me and the gay man could help you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. So, yeah. Y'all crazy. This old head helping me start a small business now. You opened my eyes. Thank you, girl. Get your money. Sprinkle, sprinkle. We're going to have, like, an influx of entrepreneurs in the next year, watch because everybody gonna get their bag, everybody gonna level up, everybody gonna start a business. All right, they'll never have to work for anyone again, and they'll be provided for. It's just the formula, ladies. Get a get a provider, 
get his money, start a business, get your bag, and free yourself. You can stay with him if you want, or you can go because you got your own money. I'm meeting up with a married man. Should I ask for things before the date or once I get there? You could tell him to bring you some girl. He married. He used to bring stuff to, to women. He probably, he probably easier to get stuff out of, literally, if he's married. Because he's used to giving. <laughs> he already know the deal. Ask him to stop by the store and bring you something because you broke or lost yours. <sighs> Could be whatever. Whatever you need. I missed a super chat. Oh my goodness. Let me go back up. Let me scroll down. All right. I helped you improve your confidence with better boundaries. Who I allow to come and have access to me. Thank you. Thank you, girl. I appreciate you. Uh, I think I already answered some of these. All right, I see some that I haven't gotten to. All right, can I do a members only video, please? Thank you. Okay, let me see how many members I got. Yes, that is a good idea, Goddess Rod Wildbread. I might do a members only video. Yes. Thanks for your advice. Love it up your appearance and mindset. Okay, I got that one already. Okay, hold on. Lost a good man. Any advice to lure him back? Well, you don't lure him back. If you how, you got to give me more detail. How did you lose him? Did you did you cheat on him? Did he leave you? Like who left who? Was it your fault? Is he a provider man? You know. Was he beneficial to you? Only broke me. Okay, I already read that one. <laughs> $2,000 for a purse. Okay. Okay, I got that one, got that one. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, I got the sprinkle sprinkle from lovely Chanel. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for the super sticker universe soldier. Appreciate you. Um better get this one. Okay, here's another one. I helped you so much after your divorce because you were so naive. You and a nice game. Okay, yeah, I already read that one. Thank you, girl. Okay. This is my dream. Shira, I just want to be free from working. I'm always stressed, crying, and itch on edge. I am new. Hear any advice to start a girl? You gotta go start with the sugar daddies. Sparkle, sparkle. Like the one the one lady earlier in the comments, she said she got her old subway uniform from where she worked at subway in high school put it on and pretended she was crying and went and stood out outside of a random subway and showed it to her old sugar daddy man and he started paying her bills so she didn't have to work but you gotta you gotta do some creative things around here man you gotta go date older and get the bag and then start you a business if you want or stack your money and free yourself because I'm, you know, working day and night and only having a little bit to show for it is wasting your life. Okay. That's not why we were put on this earth. We're not supposed to work ourselves to death for nothing. There's better ways to get stuff done. You just have to go do it. All right. 
He said, how do you find a sugar daddy? Girl, go, go to happy hour. Go to happy hour in the rich neighborhoods or next to a nice office building or in a very nice area. It's like from three to about seven, seven or eight o'clock. That's where they be. How should I text my sugar daddy? I hate texting and calls. Okay, do you hate money? Talk about something you like if you hate texting and calls. Talk about money, girl. Okay, you're 28 and your boyfriend doesn't pay any of the bills, but buys nails, toes, wax, roses, and pays every time we go out. How do I ask him? Sorry? Do he live with you? Like, do y'all live together? Because usually, I mean, and if he's, is he older than you? So if, if he's dating you and he doesn't feel, if y'all don't live together, he might not feel obligated to pay your bills or all the bills. Because if you guys live together, you wouldn't have any utilities or rent. He would pay all of that. And you could save your money and he could pay for the other stuff still, right? But I don't know if y'all live together or not. But if you want him to pay his bills and your bills, you got to make sure he can afford that. Okay. Thank you, Rock Found. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. You're new. You want to try my happy hour advice? What does one do once there? I've never got. Okay. Basically, it's all the people that just got off of work at nice offices or wherever they're coming from. They don't want to sit in traffic. So they go to get a drink and an appetizer or something and they socialize. So you're, it's a social hour, literally. Everybody's off work and they're chatting up. It's their chance to meet new people, flirt, and all this kind of stuff, okay? So you just go in there looking cute. Don't overdo it. Don't look like you're going to the club. Look like you're coming. Look casually classy, sexy. So think about like if you were just getting off of work somewhere. What would you look like if you're trying to look sexy and you're just getting off work but not slutty? Okay, that's what you need to go dressed like. Thank you, Brittany. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would go between three, depending on what time you get off work, if you work. But most happy hours are from three to seven or three to six. Yeah, sexy, not slutty. If y'all are wearing, okay, I don't like to call out names of companies because unless I'm promoting them in a positive way, but if y'all are wearing some ratchet looking clothes, ditch all of that, okay? If y'all are wearing that ratchet stuff, ditch it. Throw it out, all right? <laughs> ditch it quick. Do not, don't, don't wear it unless you live in a place where everybody is ratchet, even the rich people. If you are wearing super ratchet clothes, trying to freestyle or go to happy hour in a very nice area, it's going to look real bad, okay? So, classy, sexy. Thank you, lovely Chanel. Appreciate you. I have to use the word ratchet because I think people get a better idea of what type of clothes I'm talking about. All right. Thank you for becoming a member. All right. You're begging y'all to stop mentioning. Okay, okay. Well, they, they can read that. Sparkle, sparkle. Thank you, girl. Matrix. All right. Yeah, classy is key. All right. None of that stuff that y'all see. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't be don't be trashy, baby. Okay, I, you know, and the sad thing is some of the younger women don't know that they're ratchet. And so somebody got to tell them. What does ratchet mean to you guys? If y'all go back and watch my big talkie sketch, that's ratchet. And I wasn't even super ratchet. I was classy ratchet. But some of y'all are out here being ratchet and looking for old money, new money, and going to the wealthy side of town, but looking like 
you just came out of the flea market, <laughs> you know, with some ratchet clothes on. So don't do that. Don't, if you look like you shop at the beauty supply shop for clothes, change it up, ma'am. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, there you go. He said, wasn't keeping yourself up or being independent. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, that's why he left you. Okay. Okay, why do you need to be independent if you got a grown man? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I don't understand the relationship and why someone broke up with you. Like, independent, if you have a man, you're not supposed to be independent unless you you keeping your options open. You're supposed to be able to rely on him for something. Thank you, Sonny Vest. If you didn't keep up your appearance, that's why he was left. That's why he left. And let me tell y'all something about beauty and appearance when it comes to men. It's like a drug. I'm trying to tell you. And men will tell you this. When a man sees a beautiful woman, it's like a drug. Dopamine is released into their system. They feel good. It's like a shot of drugs to them. Okay. They come home every day and don't see that. They don't feel happy when they get home. Or if they see you every day and you don't look beautiful, they don't get that shot of dopamine. And let's say that they go to happy hour or somewhere else and they see a beautiful woman and they get that shot of dopamine. What do you think they're going to start doing? That's why you got to stay looking good. That's why you got to level up. You got to stay looking cute because if you want to keep them addicted, you got to look good every day or every other day or as much as you can. Okay. Keep, keep doing it. Okay. That is the secret formula. I sound like Mr. Krabs from Krabby Patty. Uh, the crab, what, what is it called? <laughs> SpongeBob. So, dopamine, man's brain, addiction, obsession. Look good, ladies. Every day. And, you know, this is why a, a lot of women gave me a hard time a couple of years ago when I said to look good while you're around your house, when you try to go to bed at night, to look good, at least to give him that shot of dopamine that he needs to stay addicted to you and to stay feeling like he's got a prize. Okay. Mm -hmm. How can you look good in scrubs? By taking them off and putting something else on. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, you mean at work? Okay, I thought you meant for happy hour. If you're at work, then you need to get some feminine color scrubs, if you can, if it's allowed. You need to get some fitted scrubs that fit your body. And then you need to wear makeup and have pretty hair. Okay, the scrubs need to look out of place when you wear them. And look, when people look at you, they need to imagine what you look like without the scrubs on. So they need to be fitted scrubs to fit your body and a cute color if it's possible. And you need to keep your hair and makeup looking cute. You got it? There you go, there you go. Some Somebody said some short acrylic nails, whatever type of nails you need for your job because some nurses can't have it, who knows? I don't know what kind of job you have, but definitely look, look good. Thank you, sprinkle, sprinkle, juju, BB. What if he knows how much you make because of that damn TikTok shop sales counter and he knows my business? Tell him you got a partner and you got to give them half. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You got a silent investment partner that you got to give half that money to. Lie. That's not my all my money. I got people that put together my orders. I got to pay off my staff. I don't get that much profit. I'm barely making money. Lie, girl. Every time they ask you about your business, it's not doing too well. I had to give all my employees a raise. Inflation. I barely, I barely make, I just lie. <laughs> then you're going to start giving you some extra money, girl. How? 
How to find and where to find the silver man for 20 years. The silver man, the old man. <laughs> Happy hour after work next to nice office buildings. Go get a drink between three and six, 630. All right. So. When you go to happy hour, should you order food or just one drink? Order just one drink. Because somebody going to come and buy you the rest if you look good, okay? How long should you stay talk, talking in the happy hour? Until it ends, until you're ready to go home. Like The happy hour is usually three hours, you know? You work your way around if you don't find somebody. And, and when you meet someone at happy hour, you're not obligated literally to stay and talk to that one person for the rest of the night. It's not a date. It's social hour. So you can get a drink from one person, talk to them for a few minutes and say, oh, would you excuse me? And go walk on to the next. Okay. okay. You can make your rounds a couple times, whatever. It's a social hour. So you don't, you socialize and you buy yourself one drink. Then you walk around, you see some guy, he's talking to you and he orders something. It looks good. You go, oh, that looks really good. What is that? I never, I've never had that here. Is it pretty good? Yeah. Oh, you know, okay, that kind of does smell good. Should I get something? I don't know. Here, put it on my tab, you know. That's how you do it. You don't pay. They pay. Um, sometimes being entitled and nonchalant gets you so much, you know. If you're afraid to ask for anything, if you're afraid to insinuate, if you're afraid to be entitled, you're never going to get nothing. But that's what you got to do. You just got to walk around, act like nothing is wrong. But they're supposed to pay. And that would be it. So that's what I did. I never paid for nothing. <laughs> there you go. And these are professional gentlemen. These are professional men who have really good jobs. So they don't care about paying. You know, they got a whole tab. And they put their stuff on it, their friend stuff on it, and whatever pretty lady that comes in their pack does stuff on it, okay? So there you go. Go to a nice happy hour in a nice area. Look cute. Be social. And you won't really have to pay for it pretty much of anything. Okay. Don't look nervous. Don't look like you don't belong there. Don't look like you're scared to, to speak up and say something because that's how they know you have low self-esteem. They don't want to be bothered with women like that. Okay. Unless they're trying to use you. <laughs> okay. So y'all just got to do, y'all just got to go in there like it's supposed to happen. That's literally it. Okay. What if you're too young to, for a happy hour? <laughs> then don't sit at the bar. Sit on the outskirts and order you some food, ma'am. Okay, they'll straggle over there if you look good. Do you approach people at happy hour? No, you bump into them, ma'am. Especially the ones that look like they got money. You bump into them because everybody drinking. Everybody having a good old time. It's social. You accidentally bump into them so they buy you a drink. Pretend like you spilled the drink that's probably already empty and they're just going to buy you another one. Okay. I said this in my last video. So you bump into them. They're already drinking. They feel like, oh my gosh, I spilled her drink. Let me buy you another one. By the way, what's your name? Da, 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 da. You know? And if you look good, they're just going to come over to you and offer to buy you a drink. It's not like going out at night. It's too, it, this is a place to socialize. So you're going to get approached more likely. Okay. And you got to go by yourself. Because men approach women who go by themselves easier. Stop going with a group of women. Or if y'all go together, separate and look like you're alone. Okay. Um, you said these chats are hilarious. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm.
You said you hate alcohol, then don't order alcohol. You can drink cranberry juice or something. Get a Sprite. I don't know. Yeah, there's When I used to go out, there used to be people at happy hour that didn't drink. They was just there for the social life. They be them old man be in there, you know, they, they can't drink. They got that high blood pressure and on all that medication. They be drinking for tomato juice over, over there. You see a tomato juice at happy hour and some gray hair. That's what your money is, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Watched a wife's nightmare, Amazon Prime, and saw Barbara D. Builder in action. Thank you, Sheila. Oh, pure MS. Girl, I got I don't know if I want to watch that. I might, I might start crying. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. How do you make sure you're not being too nice? What do you mean how you make sure you're not being too nice? I have never had that problem. Even if I tried to be too nice, I, I couldn't do it for too long. Um, just don't be a people pleaser. That's all you need to do. Don't be a people pleaser. Okay. Three to six, three to seven. That's happy hour. Bars at restaurants next to nice office buildings or in high-end areas, rich, wealthy areas. Happy hour. Bars, restaurants, bar restaurants. Sit at the bar. Yes. Happy hour is where people go socialize after work when they don't want to sit in traffic. You met a guy online who took you to dinner at a phenomenal restaurant this weekend. His he gifted you with a pair of Louboutins and a thank you. What? Uh oh, Ursula. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Gerg. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That was very nice. I see a lot of men know that gifting early on gets them points and they get to move along a little faster <laughs> towards the bills. <laughs> All right, so you, already, you know he can pay bills. All right, great. Um, you can go for lunch as well, but there'll be more people during the social hour because they can drink more heavily and they're more into the social scene because if they just go to lunch, they have to get back to work or back to business. So, I mean, you can do, you can do lunch, but happy hour is going to probably give you more options. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle, but definitely you can do lunch. If you're going to do lunch, I say go near like the medical businesses and you're definitely going to be getting more of the, you know, the doctors and stuff. Go where some plastic surgeon offices are and go to those little restaurants over there for lunch. Most likely they may be dining alone at the bar. So try to find like if you're going to do lunch, go to those type of places. You can go to nice office buildings next, you know, Restaurants next door to nice office buildings and always sit at the bar. Don't sit at a table by yourself. Okay. Always sit at the bar. If you go to a restaurant, that's where men approach. Okay. I know that's common sense, but some people just don't know. So I have to say it. There you go. You don't want to move in together. He says you're too free spirited. Should I prove myself? Girl, you don't prove yourself to nobody. If you don't want to move in, you don't want to move in. Find somebody else. You know, <laughs> there you go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He wipes his mouth on my dress when we both got home and told me not to wear it no more. Girl. Then tell him to take you shopping. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, well then take me shopping. Open up your laptop, get on your phone, get on whatever shopping app you love and make him drop some money or some new clothing. All right, sprinkle, sprinkle. And if he don't, take that dress right to the cleaners with his money and have it cleaned and wear it again when he ain't with you. I wish somebody would wipe their nasty mouth on my clothes. 
<laughs> All right. You said sit, cleanse it with some sage. <laughs> A girl, what kind of dress was you wearing, first of all? What was it showing? Were you showing everything? Did you have some underboob sticking out or something? What was going on with this dress? Was it short? Too much cleavage showing? What? Was it a body con? What's, what's happening? <laughs> Y'all get off social media and get to happy hour, okay? Y'all Y'all gonna learn one day. All right. Y'all go to happy hour. Stop dating online unless you're just, bless you. Y'all date online. I mean, stop dating online. Go, go out. Okay. Men are more likely to spend if you're right in front of them. Exactly. Please tell them. It is so... Okay, let me tell y'all something because y'all just don't know. It is so much easier to get a man's money in person, ladies. Especially if you meet them in person. You know why? Because that dopamine. Let me tell y'all why online dating is stupid. Because a man is, is flipping through that phone and they, they're seeing... Pretty woman after pretty woman after pretty woman. That, that dopamine already high. You ain't special, man. Okay? They're, they're hopped up on dopamine from, from flipping through. You're not special. But if you're out in the real world and you look good and not everybody is putting up their best photo on a dating site and there's an ugly woman here, an old woman there, an ugly man there, and then a beautiful face because you walked in. Dopamine. You, they hone in on you and they walk up to you and they feel a chemical reaction because ain't nobody else in the room looking as good as you. He can't flip through. He can't see no booty pics. All he sees is you. So when he sees you, it's almost like a spiritual awakening and he's ready to spend. OK, so y'all get offline and get out. Go to happy hour. Go to lunch. Go to brunch on the weekends. Go to Denny's. Go to IHOP. Go, go somewhere on the weekend where you know you're going to be the best looking thing up in there. So when you walk in, you got your pick. Okay? It's that simple. All right? Now, if you're going to, you know, so that's how you get the man with the money to spend quickly and to have this uh, physical attraction to you faster and much easier. Get out of the dating apps and get on, you know, the little bar stool. <laughs> okay. Because y'all are not doing well on the dating apps. Unless you are. But I definitely say you're going to get more if you meet people for real in real life. Okay. It's a numbers game. You got you gotta you gotta go out often and eventually you're gonna meet the one that's gonna be say, okay, I'm ready to provide. Come on. So make sure you're getting your money. <laughs> and men who start spending on you right away as soon as they meet you, they're they're already expected to spend the next time. So if you meet them at happy hour and they buy you a bunch of drinks and some food or whatever, they've already spent money on you the first night that they've met you. And so guess what? Now they have to actually take you on an impressive date once they, you know, when they get your number and stuff. Now you're not going to be asked to coffee because you already had drinks and food when you met at happy hour or, or lunch or whatever. So guess what? The next day is going to be a real date. It's not going to be no stupid coffee. All right. So meet in real life, get off them stupid dating websites. Because think about this. If that man who's at happy hour is on the dating website and you on the dating website, he didn't pass your pick 50 times. Don't you think he's going to recognize you from the dating apps? So y'all need to get off them dating apps for a couple of months and start dating in the real world and see how much better you're going to do. All right. 
All right. You said if James was Muslim and part of the religion you would not already a part of, would you have accepted his proposal? Um, <laughs> the way that I looked and dressed, if he was Muslim, he wouldn't ask me to marry him. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. If he's 44 and still has a Discover card, is that a red flag? I know his family got money and hello properties, hello properties. And so they're cow. He dines and wines. I don't know because he has regular. One. Okay. You know, they, if you have good credit, all the credit card companies are going to send you credit card applications. I get like 20 of them a day. I just throw them in the trash. But obviously he took some out. I don't know. Discover card. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Uh, as long as he has enough to provide for what you need him to provide for for now, um, if you can't see him providing for you in the next five years, then don't take him that seriously. If he can provide for you like you need him to, well, then, you know, see what he can do. <laughs> That's funny. You see a discovery card. I haven't seen one of those in forever. So, yeah. So what I was saying is the way that I used to dress back in the old days, I don't think a Muslim man would have asked me to marry him. <laughs> Y'all steal $50 from your dusty dad. It's, it's bomb. <laughs> Y'all are silly. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, I look like I look like somebody that would torture you back in them days. Okay. And sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. You so say you've been married, meeting married men at happy hour. That's what I hang out, Mandy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You didn't know. You said Bodycon in 2023, girl. I don't know. They still sell it. All right. Should you be doing this at 18? It, it depends. You know, some people are early bloomers. Some people are late bloomers. It just depends. Um, <laughs> like if you hang around older people and they're already been doing this, it just, it'll come naturally to you. But if you haven't, it might feel weird or, or new. And you may be too young if you don't have like mentors. All right. So stay off them dating apps for like a month and start going out instead. And see what happens. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They're saying I'm a sociopath. I I'm saying I'm a sociopath. Yes, I'm a sociopath. Big time. Sociopaths stay paid, if you have noticed. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Sociopaths stay paid, ma'am. They don't take no BS. They don't get emotionally drained. They just get their money and keep their standards. All right? That should be goals. <laughs> Men are turned on by sociopaths. Exactly. They like them. Especially if you look good. You got to look good, though. You can't be crazy and ugly. Because that's just scary. Mm-hmm. You said they owe you rights? Mm -hmm. Sociopaths. Okay. Can you give some tips to ensure a man keeps providing for you and doesn't stop? Yes. Make them invest lots of money. Look good all the time. Make sure 
that you have, like you're stacking your money. So you're saving money. And if you don't have a lot of money, men are less likely to leave you high and dry because they feel guilty. So never lead on that you have a lot. Okay. They'll leave Barbara the Builder and pick Misha now who have good jobs in a second. But if you don't, if you feel, if they feel like you don't have a lot, they'll stick around and provide longer. Okay. Especially if they're older. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> so you can't be trying to outdo them because they'll feel comfortable enough to leave you without giving you any money or constantly providing. So you got to keep it to look like you're barely making it. <laughs> <laughs> all right you got to be oh i don't know i don't know if i should spend money this week it's kind of tight <sighs> just say stuff like that it'll keep them around longer because they know if you if they leave you in a desperate state and they want to change their mind and come back to you that you may have already attached yourself to a whole other man you know to get some money so they don't like to leave you if you have little of nothing because they think, especially if you're pretty, they think, okay, well, she's going to not have any trouble moving on. So if I stick around and continue to pay and make sure she's okay, you know, then I still have access. But if you have everything you need, you got a bunch of money and stuff like that, they're like, oh, well, she got it. I got to go. All right. You said it's James Muslim? No. No, someone was just asking me if he was, would I have changed my religion or would I have married, still married him? He wouldn't have approached me if he was Muslim and married and talking to another woman. Unless he would have. While I was drinking an alcoholic beverage. You know what I mean? So I'm sitting there drinking an alcoholic beverage in a bar. I don't think he would have been in there. So, it also, you know, you're less likely to meet certain types of people in, in certain places because due to their faith and their religion, they may not partake in alcohol or, you know, certain things. And some do. I'm, I got stories, too. I got some do. Some do partake. <laughs> some own bars. Mm hmm. I've gone out with a few Muslim men. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we went on lots of dates. They used to they used to keep my tab. They used to pay my tab every day. Every day I went to drink, they would pay. So yeah. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm saying. I didn't want to tell on y'all, but I knew if, I knew two guys who owned a bar and they would let me drink free every day. And one got a crush on me. He wanted to take me out. So I went out with him. Then his brother had a crush on me. He wanted to take me out. So I went out with his brother. We didn't do nothing, though. Well, we made out a little bit. But he was they were cute. They weren't ugly. So they were cute. <laughs> so I used to get a lot of stuff free you know what I'm saying free food they used to cook for me because they had a little bar in the restaurant back there You, they used to cook me some Lebanese food give me drinks read to me they were reading me the profit while I was sitting at the bar drinking eat some of the uh <laughs> Lebanese food. You know why they liked me? I'm going to tell y'all why they liked me. Because I was smart. <laughs> I was giving them deep conversations. You said, nah, I know you lying. Okay, well, you think, you know, men always think women are dumb. That's why when you are smart, they're so totally surprised. And then they just give you all their money, free drinks, free whatever, as long as you keep coming back. 
I am married. Yes. I'm using this thing because these lights are hot. All right. What if you don't drink? Then get something that's not alcoholic at the bar. They sell other things besides alcohol. You get any type of drink. Yeah, my story times a while. I used to have fun, y'all. I dated cops, bar owners. <laughs> yeah, my roster was crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so I had my foot, okay. Gold diggers got the best stories. Yes. Y'all got y'all gotta go find some story time videos because I told everything. Like it was it was very fun. My youth was very fun. I'm gonna tell y'all that. <laughs> you said not the pigs. Well, <laughs> See, this one had two jobs, though. He was like part, like, actually, I think he switched careers. I don't know. He was like an anesthesiologist uh, assistant. I don't even know. This was, girl, I, I was 18. Then he became a cop, like, after a couple of years. So I got with him before he was a cop. <laughs> but I still saw him, like, in certain areas. When he became a cop there i'll put it like that so i got away with a lot of stuff <laughs> all right <laughs> this was way before james i said i was 18. y'all had a fake id so i was doing stuff at 15 i was in bars i was in clubs because i had fake id so when y'all ask me how I know the game and how I have all this experience and how I know what I know, because I have been in the bars and in the clubs since I was 15 years old. Okay. <laughs> With a fake ID. And it was fun. I wasn't doing anything with the guys at no 15, though. Like, I was chaperoned. <laughs> okay. But I, I'm saying, you know, you go with a group of people, they're going to give you one of their IDs. You're going to get in the club with them, you know, little sister. So, I mean, I've been out there since I was 15, getting getting whatever I wanted, free drinks, you know, whatever. But I was chaperoned with my sister. So, um, the, you know, they, her and her friends looked out for me. I was just in there, you know dance and have a good time listening to music and stuff okay what do i think pick misha doing right now cooking or cleaning whichever one sprinkle sprinkle you said rubbing her man feet i don't know child paying some bills all right <laughs> He said the proofs and judgmental habits. What? Are about to have a field. I know, girl. Because you know, you know what? Because they never had their fun. They were too busy cooking and cleaning and chasing behind a dusty to go out and have real fun in life. That's why they mad and bitter because they missed their opportunities. Okay. I, I had my fun. <laughs> All right. I have no regrets. I did everything that I wanted to do. And I'm not bitter about anything. All right. I don't ever have to wish I should have, could have, would have. Because I already did. <laughs> and I don't have to be mad and bitter because I settled for some dust. You know. So I go out and have your fun, ladies. That's why I tell young women, go have fun. Don't worry about trying to get married so young. Go have your fun so when you do get married, you don't, you're not trying to look back. You already did what you wanted to do. You know. <laughs> you're not sitting there depressed because you ain't ever you know um went out of town or dated this type of person or you know did this this, this and that you're not sitting up there feeling like you missed out on life because you lived your life so go live anybody that's judging somebody for living you know i don't have nothing to say to them they're just mad 
I'm going to live my life. You know why? Because I, 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 I told y'all, working at a funeral home will give you a different perspective in life. I was in the funeral industry. You don't know when you're going to go. So you better live your life and have fun and stop judging everybody and sitting there being upset and mad because you didn't live your life. You better go live. <laughs> okay. Let me tell y'all something. I, like I said, I was a mortician. I worked at funeral homes for years. People talk about you when you dead in your casket. Okay. Y'all sitting up here worried about what people think of you. They're going to talk about you at your own funeral because I've seen it many, many times. <laughs> they're gonna talk about y'all y'all when y'all laying up dead in y'all casket so go do what you want period okay all right y'all should hear the stuff that i've heard at funerals it's pathetic they still judging you you ain't even alive so go live your life don't worry about what pick me and them saying and go have fun go get your bag and do what you gotta do because they always going to talk. But as long as you are happy and doing what you want and living by your standards, that's all that matters. You lived life how you wanted to live it with no regrets. Okay? And not being bitter all the time and judging everybody else because you didn't live your life. Go live. Get your experiences. How old was I when I got married? 26. Spark, sparkle. Do I think social media ruined relationships or is it the way you perceive? Okay. Um, I think, well, when I met James, there was no social media relationships, you know, or it was very, very new. Like nobody really did it unless they were like super young or nerds, you know. So um, I feel that after, I don't think it was a problem in my, my day, but like, if I were trying to date today and or have to worry about social media and stuff, I think I'd be even slicker and smarter. Okay. I'd figure out ways around it. You know, you got to have an alias social media presence. All right. Um, what was I naive? No, I, I was, I was not even high school. But like I said, I had an older sister. So, you know, and a mother. We didn't fall for the okie doke, okay? He gets frustrated every time I ask for money what to do. Tell him to put you on direct deposit so you don't have to talk about money anymore. Say, okay, well, I hate talking about money too. Why don't we just get me on direct deposit so we don't have to keep discussing this and then the money is just going to be deposited in there every month and we can focus on our relationship and doing something and having fun. Say it just like that. If you get mad about that, then move on. Okay, because he ain't trying to spend. You need, you need to put your foot down if he wants to be seen in public with you, especially if he's old or ugly. He's supposed to be giving you money, ma'am. Your boyfriend is so sweet and has been providing for you since you were 17. You haven't paid rent since then, but you're 20 and get a bad urge to cheat. That's because you're you're so young. You're supposed to have that urge. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So go cheat and just don't tell him. He probably been cheating. And not telling you either. So you go do the same. <laughs> okay, go cheat. Don't tell nobody. Go cheat and just shut up. Because I'm sure he's doing the same thing. He's probably like, dang, I want to cheat. <laughs> Y'all are too young to be that exclusive. Just go cheat. Just don't tell nobody. Okay? Keep it keep it on the low. If you're creeping, just don't let him know. Because his heart can't take it anymore. Don't ever bring them to the house. All right. Don't bring them to the house. Y'all go get y'all a little motel, hotel, holiday in, whatever. <laughs> All right. 
He said he's 20. It ain't the end of the world. Exactly. Somebody going to cheat sooner or later. You might as well go cheat. He probably already cheated. I ain't telling you, you nothing. But just go do it. Get it out of your system, ma'am. If they don't know, won't hurt them. Protect yourself. Don't get pregnant. You said don't cheat for free. Oh, yeah. You better get you something with some money. That's an extra added bonus. Okay. <laughs> he said, "Did I slip some rappers' delight in there? I just, I just remixed the the two thousand twenties with the eighties. Was well, that the seventies? I have range. Okay. Um, do wealthy guys go out after eight p eight p.m.? Mm -hmm. Not really." Let me tell y'all why. Unless it's like a gala or something or something like um, if they're going to dinner like at a steakhouse, sometimes if they're single, they may sit at the bar. So you might can find them at steakhouses on the weekdays in the bar, like a nice steakhouse at the bar. All right. Or a nice restaurant, depending on what type of food you're in the mood for. So, oh, it's hot. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, youngsters, go have your fun and stop trying to be faithful. Y'all are trying to act married when y'all are supposed to be being free. This is why I don't like relationships that are so young, like, and trying to be super exclusive. After high school, y'all supposed to be free, okay? When you get out of high school, that is your freedom. Stop trying to attach yourself to people and go have fun. You can have you, a, you, you, you know, it doesn't, it's not right, <laughs> okay? Stop doing that. Y'all are not married. All y'all are doing is wasting your time trying to pretend to be married, okay? Or trying to pretend to be in a long-term relationship. You're pretending to do what adults are going to do when they get old. You're young. You're supposed to be out there having the time of your life. You're supposed to be out there having fun, dating, um, traveling, going out. You're supposed. That's what y'all are supposed to be doing when y'all are in college and, and after high school and in your early 20s. Okay? Don't try to have no serious relationship with no teenager. Or somebody ain't even old enough to drink yet. Okay, you y'all need to go out and have y'all's fun, y'all. A lot of these people sit here and try to have these long term relationships with these young dusties for like seven, eight years, and then it's, they're going to be hard to find someone else because they've been attached to dusties for so long. They didn't missed out on most of their twenties and can't even function in the dating world. So y'all need to get out and start dating and leave their leave the high school boyfriend in high school. All right. Leave him in high school. If he's paying bills, great. Go, 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 go do your thing on the side and don't tell him. But y'all need to be doing more. Okay. Stop, stop trying to pretend y'all old when y'all not. He gets frustrated when you ask Ronnie what to do. I told you what to do. Tell him to put you on direct deposit so you don't have to talk about money anymore. If he doesn't do it, then go get you another one who will. That's it. And look good when you ask. Look really good when you ask. And if he says no, walk out. Walk out and leave. He don't know where you're going. You could be going to the bar to meet somebody new. You could be out and about, meet a new sugar daddy or whatever. But y'all need to start using y'all's leverage as women, especially if you have beauty. You don't have to stand there and take that crap. If you're saying, you know what? I need some money. And he gets frustrated. It's like, well, you can put it in direct deposit then so we don't have to discuss this anymore. I'm tired of you getting frustrated when I'm asking for money. Do you want me to go ask somebody else for money? That would be my, that would be my comment. That would, that's how I'm speaking to you. You getting frustrated for having the privilege to give me money? Excuse me, I will go give that privilege to another man. Do you understand? And that's exactly how it will come out of my mouth. Just like that, with the attitude. <laughs> They're going to be like, reaching for their wallet. All right, here you go. You got to stand up sometimes, ma'am. You got to be like, you know what? 
If you don't want this privilege no more, just let me know. I can go give it to someone else. <laughs> hey, I saw Luby's on the way over here. <laughs> Ah. Y'all, Lubies is where old people like to eat. Cracker Barrel, Lubies, Piccadillies. <laughs> so that was a joke, but you know. <laughs> So make sure y'all get y'all's money. Don't take no, no crap from nobody. If somebody's frustrated when you ask for money, go give the privilege to another man until they calm down. Okay. Y'all need y'all have y'all supposed to have options, ladies. If y'all don't look good enough to have options, that's problem number one. You need to work on that. Let me tell y'all a secret. It's not really a secret because I probably said it before years ago. But when I was younger. And somebody was not complying, I would just excuse myself, call the next person and go out with them. And they would comply. <laughs> That's it. You know, have options. You're like, okay, you ain't coming. You're not, you're not coming through. You can't make it. You don't have the money. All right. Oh, hey, where you at? Oh, really? I'm around the corner. All right. You're going to be waiting for me. You're going to get my valet. All right. Okay. Bye. Okay. Order me a drink. I'm going to be in there. Done. <laughs> That's it. That's how you do it. That's how we did it. So keep it moving. I will go. I will go for three places. I would have three dates a night. One, one would be over. I would do happy hour. Go to the club. Then go to the after hours <laughs> with three, three different people. Okay. That's how we used to do it back at the jet. You know why? Okay. So one got to go home early. One don't go to after hours because they, you know, they got to get up early for work. The other one, you know, he probably don't have to work <laughs> or he off. He going, he's going to after hours. <laughs> we don't really know what he do, but he ain't got to get up in the morning. Okay. What's the best time and day for happy hour? Three to six. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Three to six or three to seven. On weekdays. You're off all day tomorrow. Any suggestions what to do? Go to lunch, go to happy hour. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you should do a video on Rich Dusty's. I ain't even gonna waste my time and breath on Rich Dusty's, ma'am. <laughs> Okay. Okay. He told me he is intimidated by me. I couldn't gauge what he means. When they say that, that means they don't really, they don't really want to be with you. You're too much for them. They're not going to be able to handle you. You know what I'm saying? That's what it really means. I recently ended a relationship with someone I loved. He was doing all the right things, trips, money, etc. Then he asked to move in with me. I saw red flag. He had history of this with others. And my girl, don't ever let no man move in with you. Y'all supposed to be looking for new places to move in, or y'all supposed to move in with him. Thank you, Octavia. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. No, don't let no grown man move in. You, y'all supposed to go looking for places together, or are you supposed to move in with him? All right. You said these women criticize that she would look like trash and work two jobs and pay their mom man's bills. Okay. Y'all, I don't really care. Like, thank you for saying that, but I don't really care what these women are saying because, you know, some people, they try to send me these TikToks or whatever, and I see them and I don't even have to click on it or listen to them. I just see what these people look like and I already know they pick Misha. Okay. And... <sighs> They're already punished enough. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Sparkle, sparkle. What's a good age to become exclusive? You're turning 24, but feel like a, your whole phase. Feel like your whole phase is just starting. Okay. Well, I would say go good and strong for about one more year. Get all that out your system. 
And then at 25, then you start dating exclusively for lifestyle and money. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You, I got, you got one more good year before you need to start dating for money. All right. Just don't get pregnant. Oh, you appreciate me. Thank you. You dropped that dusty this morning. I'm taking 30 days to level up how I want. And it's up to me from there. Thank you, girl. Thank you, pretty. Sprinkle, sprinkles. You know, take some time for yourself. That's a really good idea. Get yourself together, level up, and go get you a provider. Don't look back. Do you ever think of fixing your teeth? No. Is a good idea if you don't have the perfect smile? No. It, unless it's bothering you. If it's bothering you, then fix it. If it's not bothering you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even worry about it. Especially if you look good. Okay. You saw a TikTok that said crooked teeth show you grew up poor. Well, I don't know how your teeth look. If they throw in gang signs, maybe. But if you got a little gap or if they're not absolutely perfect, I don't think that counts. But if, if they throw in gang signs, you might need to go to the dentist. Yes. Sprinkle, sprinkle. A man blocked me when I asked for more attention because he always leave me on read. Stop begging for attention from these men. And stop being a pygmy show. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Learn your lesson from him. He taught you a good lesson. Stop being pygmy show. Okay? Where's your other man to give you attention when he's not? I'm trying to teach y'all. You need to have about three or four if you need that much attention, ma'am. Three or four. I I'm trying to tell y'all how to do it. I had three dates in one night. Happy hour date. Club date. Happy, I mean, after hours date. Okay? You need to have three. You have three, you ain't going to be mad at none of them. Because they all have their position in place. This is for this. This one's for that. And this one's for that. Okay? Stop being so needy. Stop being a pygmy shabam. No, Denise, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Do my kids know about my channel? My kids been on my channel. <laughs> yeah. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Um, my kids probably better do better than me up, up on here. All right. Hotel bar and restaurant for happy hour. Both, all, whatever one. I, I would say um, restaurant bar first. Yes. Maybe on the weekend you, go, you can. Um, yeah. Just go, just alternate them. Okay. But if you're going to go to a hotel bar, stay early. Don't be out there late like a prostitute unless you are one. <laughs> but if you're trying to meet guys at happy hour, go early like from three to six. All right. <laughs> All right. Your channel and wisdom gave you the strength and courage to leave your husband on the 12th. Please bless my escape still living with the creep. Uh oh, sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Bless your escape. Um, well, Hopefully you'll find another place or he'll find a place soon, but still work on your level up. Um, you can, you still need to be lying about things while y'all are still living together. So lie a lot if you're trying to get out of the house. So you're going to go look for apartments or places to live, or you're going to go look for new furniture or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you need to be looking for, for this divorce and just go out and have fun, have some you time. You know, but just lie and say and act stressed when you're there and sad and all this kind of stupid stuff. But when you go out, be happy. OK, that way he doesn't feel like. It's fun for you or you're planning ahead and you're trying to hurry up and get him out or, you know, doesn't look like you're having a good time. So just look miserable around the house. But, you know, if you got to take a little bag, put it in your trunk, do what you got to do, you know, go do what you got to do. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh-oh, Elena, sprinkle, sprinkle. You got to go spend the weekend with your mom or your sister? Go do that. Or a hotel, wherever you're going. All right. Yes, 
I had my fun. I did what I did. No regrets. I lived my life. Y'all should do the same. So, you said, did my sister marry her provider? Yeah, she had. She was married to a football player. All right. Um, sprinkle, sprinkle. How do I get men to send me money while online without meeting in person? Girl, you gotta have a good storyline. Make up a good old story. Okay. Go watch my videos from yesterday and the day before. I got lots of examples in there. Thank you, girl. Spark, spark. You gotta come up with your storyline. Um, how do you make sure you get their information for a future date after me? They're supposed to ask you for your number. And if it's happy hour, most likely they're a regular. That means they're going to be there often. You know what I'm saying? So some people may not think about exchanging information at a happy hour because they're there every day or every other day. Um, but if they like you enough, they will definitely ask for your number if they don't think that you'll be there. So if you're not a regular, they should definitely ask for your number. So don't be desperate in trying to get their information. If, they, if they're there for happy hour, usually they'll be there at least once in a week, once or twice a week. All right. Okay. Can you talk more about happy hour? Yes. Happy hour is a place where people go after work. Yep usually work in business offices or, you know, wherever medical center to wind down, have a drink, have a little appetizer, but, so they don't have to stay in traffic. And, and it's a social hour. People go there to flirt, so socialize and it's fun. Okay. It's like a little party. <laughs> and sometimes there are regulars and you get to know people that are regulars. So like when I was young, there was like a few happy hours that I would hit. And I was a regular at all of them, right? So I could get free drinks at all of the happy hours. So therefore, you just meet, you, when you meet people and they go there often, they always got your drink. <laughs> so you would make your rounds. And a lot of times they wouldn't care if you were talking to other guys because if they're old, they just, you know, they just want you to be seen in public with you for about five minutes, buy you a little drink, say your hellos, and then you can go on about your business. Because now the next chick who just saw me talk to old dude, is now interested in old dude, you see? So old men will buy pretty women drinks to make other women want them. So this is what you got to do. You got to go find you the, the local old dude, the regular old dude that's in there every day. Rub your boob against them, say hello. <laughs> Bump into them, do what you got to do. You having to buy you a drink every time you see them, smile. Hey. Every time you walk in, he's going to point to the bartender. He's going to point to you. That's it. That's all you got to do. All right. So get your old man that pays for drinks at every happy hour and have, make your rounds. That's what you got to do. <laughs> you have a lip piercing. Can you give me advice to look for men like alternative? Girl, you got to find, go find you one of them bars with the tattoo people hang out. I don't know. They call it alternative bars. Go get you a tattoo uh, artist, uh, shop owner. Y'all can't ask me about that because I don't know. I was not into the alternative scene. <laughs> you say your three teeth throwing gang signs, yo. I had to send you a super chat for that. <laughs> you are funny. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I didn't mean nothing by it. You know, whoever got the ask the teeth question but you know I try to keep it light uh, thank you appreciate you so yeah um, they're going to give you free tats <laughs> yeah, I'll so yeah um, if y'all have any ideas for her to find alternative men y'all put them in the comments your boyfriend always hangs around with his single friends and not enough time with me what should, should I leave him no you should go to happy hour ma'am sprinkle sprinkle when he out with his friends, you get your friends or you get dressed and go alone out to happy hour. Meet you another one. Okay. If he like hanging out with men or do he like hanging out with women, then you need to go hang out by yourself and see, see what you can do. Okay. I'm not playing no games. <laughs> if you have a man, you don't need to compete with no other man. Okay. Unless he's gay. You need to be out there 
keeping your options open, ma'am. So when he get going out with his friends, get on your clothes. Go out by yourself. Make you some friends. All right. Some male friends that have money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you said you was the queen of happy hour. I know, right? How do you get into the galleries? You buy tickets online. You either buy tickets online or you volunteer to work the fundraiser if there's a fundraising gallery or gala. Yeah, so you can either volunteer or buy the tickets online. Or you can get invited by someone who's going. Okay. Um, a lot of women, if you have, if you live in a certain area, if you live in a nice area, join like the Rotary Club in your area. You can do it online. You just go to these meetings and they throw fundraisers and um, galas like for society and stuff for, to raise money. And you can meet a lot of rich men that way. Or join some type of fundraiser um, or charity and you get it. You might, you might get invited. Okay. Been invited. Okay. You've been watching me for since 2018. You're dust free with all bills paid. Level up is real. Don't sleep. Uh oh. Sparkle, sparkle. Thank you, girl. Okay. So let's get back to the happy hour. So you got your old man that pays your drinks, right? Old man pays drinks. Next, the next place you go, it might be a little bit later. It might be like a happy hour bar that turns into like a club or like, you know, younger scene. So usually there's going to be a younger guy that, you know, he might not be on the up and up or he just might have a little extra cash for no reason. And he will buy all your drinks too and your friend's drinks. That's all. That's as far as you take it. Him buying your drinks. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You work hard, have two jobs and have to trade, go to trade school and still treat it like crap. Are people seeing me as a man? Yes. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They're seeing you as a man, man. You're doing too much. You should be hitting up some happy hours and getting this money. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. You need to quit something. Why are you doing it? Why are you working so hard? You got kids? Um, I can understand if you have kids, but if you don't have kids, you're doing too much. <clears throat> you need to go find you a sugar daddy. You need to go level up your looks and go get you a sugar daddy and quit them jobs or quit something. Quit one of them jobs at least. Okay. What about this economy? I don't know about nothing about no economy. Okay, I just keep keep getting money. When do go to happy hour by yourself? Yep, go by yourself. Um, better days than others. I would say closer, like to the beginning of the week and the middle of the week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Y'all are y'all are thinking too much. Y'all are overthinking. I win every day. <laughs> okay. I win every day or every other day. Y'all are overthinking it. It's a numbers game. And you know, let me tell y'all something. But another thing about happy hours. If you are going to the happy hours next to certain places like downtown or the nice areas where when people come into concert or when people are coming to this, your city for something major, like if you live in a major city and there's going to be a lot of celebrities in town or ball players or there's a game going on, if you are around a certain area, you're gonna, you, they're gonna, they're gonna come in there. Okay, you're gonna see them. <laughs> so you gotta pick, you gotta be strategic around the events that are happening in your city. So sprinkle, sprinkle. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I told y'all I was psychic. So. This is how you meet them. You find out what's going on, who's playing, what's who's in concert, whatever, whatever, right? A lot of times clubs and venues will pay these people to come into their club or they'll just show up because they're bored and they don't want to sit in their hotel room. So you go where there's more, you know, nicer hotels or where, you know, you know, people are going to hang out, you know, the it place. So. I've met a lot of people at it places on a Tuesday night. Okay. Y'all would think to meet these sort of people, it would be like on a Friday or a Saturday, Tuesday. 
okay? Because sometimes they do concerts or it's the night before or the night after, you know, and they just, they hang out an extra day or they come in a day ahead of time and they want to hit a club up before they go home or they want to hit a bar up or a pool hall up before they go in, in for their, you know, in for the night to their hotel. So going out on a Tuesday night, hanging out on a, um, at a happy hour on a Tuesday night or at a, um, a little lounge or a club on Tuesday night, that's where you're going to meet a lot of people because they don't have to be anywhere. You know, so I've met very interesting people. I ain't going to name drop no more because they be showing up in your DMs after years. Um, I've met a lot of people on a Tuesday night. Let's just say that. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, they always have games. Go go to restaurants and happy hours next to the hotels that they're staying in. You need to find out what hotel they, they stay it in, like a real groupie. I didn't do this because I was just lucky. I <laughs> didn't. Uh, there you go. But if you go out, people are going to tell you stuff. People are going to be like, so here's sometimes when you go out by yourself, other women will, will tell you stuff. They'll be like, oh, girl, I heard such and such was over here at this place. Girl, let's go. <laughs> For real? All right, I'm on my way. You know, they're not even your friends. But they're sitting at the bar and they get some news and the girl, you know who is at this place? Girl, let's go. They <laughs> you can hear entire screeching. You know? So just by going out just randomly by yourself, you're gonna hear other people talking. You're gonna know what's up. If the place has valet parking and VIP section, it's the it place. You know, you're usually gonna find some good, some good people there, All right? You said talk to the bartenders, yes. You said you met Shaq on a random Tuesday. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. See, y'all gotta go out during the week. Y'all be trying to wait for the weekend to go out with everybody going out. That's when everybody stay in. Who, who got something, you know, go out on the weekdays. People that go out on the weekdays, they ain't got to work too much. They don't have to worry about getting up early in the morning. That's why you got to do it while you're young or if you're single or if you don't have no kids or if you got a good babysitter. You know what I'm saying? Um, any advice for people with social anxiety? Get over it. Go out by yourself. Pretend you're the only one there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Your man looks like a, look, looks at other girls on IG, but pays for all my bills. Good for you. You got you got you found a provider. You found a provider. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Wonderful. He provides. Make sure your bills are paid. All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. My man pays all my bills, and he takes deep breaths. And exhales. All right. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. See you Taco Tuesday. Yes. You said let that man look at them I dream models. Yeah. <laughs> He said, so no real name, no real names. Y'all can go find some videos if y'all want from the past, but you know, I don't want nobody popping up in my DM. Would you would love to share your advice with my friend that married to a dusty, but trying to be considerate of her feelings? Why do y'all have to step into y'all's friends' dusty lives? The best thing you can do is lead by example, because if you try to tell her something, she's going to become defensive. You know, y'all know how picky she name is about her dusty. Maybe like my mother bear. <laughs> okay. Leave, leave, leave Pink Misha them alone. Lead by example. Okay. 
I was told not too long ago by someone I was dating for six months that I was too much work. Is that dusty lingo? Uh, that means you're high maintenance and they couldn't afford you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or they couldn't meet your standards. It girl, Charity. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate you. Um, so, yeah, thank y'all. But yeah, y'all got to make sure that y'all are keeping your options open, having fun when you're young, going out, doing the most when you have the opportunity and the time. Because that's when you're going to have your most fun and meet lots of people and have good memories. Uh oh, Hi. you had a possible provider ghost me. How much should I charge him to come back? Well, if he comes back, then whatever you want to charge him. Okay. Money, gifts, shopping, whatever. Cash app. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um. Yeah, I think I got all of them. Hold on, I'm going to go back and see if I've missed another one. But yeah, y'all, go start going out. Get offline. Nobody's online. So here's my thing. Do you ever see famous people online? Do y'all see football players on them dating websites? Do y'all see basketball players on them dating websites? Do y'all see celebrities on them dating websites? Do y'all see rich men who don't have to be on websites on websites? Get off the websites, ma'am. Okay, get out in the real world. That's where you're going to meet them. Mm hmm. Well, y'all sitting at home scrolling. There are women going out there and getting the bag for men that are not online. Okay. <laughs> um, Someone says, go outside. They're all the same losers on those websites. Exactly. Get offline. Y'all are looking at losers. <laughs> go to the real world where you, there's more potential. All right. Um, because in order to go out, you got to have money. You got to have gas. You got to have a car. You got to be able to afford Uber. If you're at a nice place, you got to be able to afford valet, $20 drinks. So you're more likely to find a provider in real life than somebody on a free dating website swiping. Okay? Think about this for a second. You meet someone that and just to even get into the place and order a drink has already cost them about $40. Just to get in there, valet, sit down and order him a drink. Already cost them about $40. Okay? And you might be the most attractive woman in the room or very close to it. But if somebody's on a dating website, everybody looks the same. Everybody got a booty pic. Everybody's free. You know what I'm saying? It's no money spent. So you're going to have better quality if you go out. Get offline and get out into the world. All right. How do I feel about an eight-year relationship that feels like a plateau? Yeah, I think you either should have been married or rich by now and stacking your money with whatever he's giving you. Why would rich men need to use dating apps? I don't know. They don't. They're not on there. Especially not the free ones, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Okay, let me see this. What? I should tell I should tell them that I prefer a date to a restaurant instead of a coffee or park or just give up that girl. If somebody if somebody thinks that less of you, don't even respond. That's an insult. If somebody says you want to go to the park with me or meet me for coffee, no, sir. Next. <laughs> That's an insult. 
You know, like what, what like what do I look like getting dressed to go meet some random dude at a park or a Starbucks? I'm not doing, I'm not getting up out of my bed for that. Okay. Some people lashes cost more than some damn Starbucks. <laughs> Gas costs more than Starbucks just to get there. No. All right. You said you met a CFO. They took your shopping on your second date. On a dating app, I just do both. Okay, well, if you can get both, do both. Yeah, James took me shopping on our second day, too. There's sprinkle. He texts today saying, I know you're busy. Call me when you have a time, but doesn't at least try to call me first or at last text almost two weeks ago. Girl, why are you worried about something two weeks ago? Sprinkle, sprinkle. You see, this is the problem. You sitting there thinking about some man that haven't texted you in two weeks. You should have been had about five, six more of them and been on about three dates. Ma'am, sprinkle, sprinkle. Go out into the real world. Meet new people. So... Yeah, meet new people. Stop looking at back two weeks ago. Okay. And see, this is a thing like, if you've had your fun in life, you're not worried about people no more because you've already done everything. You've already had your fun. You already know what life is like doing the most. So when somebody ghosts you or acts stupid, it's no big deal. You can easily let it go because you've already had a lot <laughs> you've already had your fun. You've already had money spent on you. You've already been, you know, done the most. So it doesn't bother you. That's why I'm telling y'all, young girls, get out and go have fun. Because when, when you get older and you start dating and, and men try to bait you or use you or trick you or game you, you're not even going to blink because you've already done everything and you're not offended and you don't care. And if they want you, they want you. If they want to spend, they're going to spend. If they don't, they don't. It's not a big deal. You're not going to sit there looking back, you know, asking what happened. You're going to be like, oh, well, on to the next. How oh, Tiara Sprinkle Sprinkle, how to leave a man you've been with for five years, but cheats and go, go for the girl. I don't even know how you stayed that long. That's torture. Okay. That is self-abuse. Sprinkle Sprinkle. You, you abusing yourself by staying with somebody like that. Okay. You are abusing, you're, basically you're saying I'm worth zero. I have zero value. That's what you're telling yourself every day when you stay with a man that long who cheats and asks you to pay bills and try to sleep with you. So he's cheating on you, he's sleeping with you, and you got to pay. So basically you're being tortured. <clears throat> sprinkle, sprinkle. Self-mutilation, what? This is what happens when you don't date when you're young. You got to go out and have your fun. Go out and have your fun. Do what you got to do. Don't get attached. Hang out, ladies. Hang out. The best thing I can tell you to do is go get you a sugar daddy and don't ever pay a bill again. Level your looks up. Okay? I, I'm not going to tell. I, I don't know nothing about them emotional issues with a cheater who makes you pay bills. I I, I can't fathom that. You paying to stay in a place where a man cheats on you and wants to sleep with you and have his money out, have his hand out at rent time. So, you know, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to tell you how this looks. So he go cheat on you on Monday, come sleep with you on Tuesday, have his hand out on Wednesday for bills. And you emotionally attached and you can't go nowhere. Well, here's my solution. You need to go find you a man on the side and start cheating with him and make sure he give you some money and you pay half the bills with that man's money if you can't leave your dusty. 
Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. At least you ain't coming out of pocket. All right. Or just leave. Okay. Um, yeah, because that's not, they don't sound too good. Unless you're real ugly and you have no choice and you think that's the best you can do. Because see, some some women let themselves go, which gives their men permission to cheat. Not verbal permission, but he know you ain't going nowhere. So he going to just cheat because, you know, you can't do no better. So that's why you got to level up so you can go do better. All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Best ways to ignore Pink Misha when she is servicing you. X. She serviced my lashes to Jay and freely shared her prefer 50-50. <laughs> um, you know. If, you know, if people have a preference to do 50-50, let them do it. They, they don't have nothing to do with you. Thank you, girl. Sparkle, sparkle. Like, oh, that's nice. I, when somebody talked to me about stuff like that, I'd be like, oh, that's nice. I don't get I don't tell them nothing. If they like 50 50, they like 50 50. Mm -hmm. Just let them be. How to make yourself more approachable when you go out alone? I'm pretty and used to model, but guys don't approach me. Go to happy hour. Everybody, everybody's social at happy hour. Okay, go to a happy hour. Three to three to six, three to seven. All right. Weekdays. <sighs> if y'all are having problems getting approached, go to happy hours in nice areas or next to nice office buildings where the crowd is good. Okay. If y'all can't get nobody to come over to you, go to happy hours. And I keep telling y'all this. Y'all act like a lot of y'all act like y'all don't know what a happy hour is. <laughs> Look it up online if you don't know what it is. Look up your local happy hours in your area. Look up the best happy hours in your city and get you, you know, some places to go. There you go. And when you do, you know, make your rounds. Have fun. Okay. And look good. Okay. You got to look good. You got to look. When you walk up in a building, everybody got to turn their neck. Okay. That's what you got to do. Not in a slutty way, but, you know. In a striking way. You know, you walk through them doors, pick me and them need to cringe. Every man neck need to turn. You got it? There you go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, you need to have theme music playing in your head when you walk in. You need to hear it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> in the background. You know, walk into the place looking like you need to look. <laughs> um, you said, I, yeah, I, I don't care what them people you should talk about on, on TikTok, baby. I don't care. They, they looking like who did it and why they can't tell me nothing. Spring, spring. All right. You said I'm the main character, exactly. The side characters. <laughs> Y'all are silly. Y'all know I don't care what people should think about me. They're supposed to think that about me, okay? They don't have no choice. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Shira, you're beautiful. You're so awesome. Thanks for leveling us all up. Thank you, girl. Appreciate you. <laughs> Dina, sprinkle, sprinkle. You said all confident women have a theme song in y'all here. Yeah, y'all need to get y'all y'all's theme song. When y'all walk in the place, y'all need to have imaginary theme music playing so that you can walk in your confidence. Whatever song that you choose for the week or for the month or whatever, it can change. But you need to feel it and walk in there as if it's playing. <laughs> uh. 
if you go to happy hour, everybody's going to be socializing. Walk around, walk around to the other side of the bar, bump into a few people, let them apologize and buy you a drink and ask you what your name is. You know, you're not going to be sitting there lonely unless nobody's there yet. So three, you're probably a little too early. So I'll go around 435 if you want the crowd. All right. You pull out your phone when you out. Okay, that's the wrong thing to do. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Supposed to be walking around, bumping into people and acting silly and, you know, looking in people's eyes so they can buy you things. Okay. <laughs> Could you imagine me walking around and fake bumping into you as a man? And, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, I spilled my drink. <laughs> Yeah. Just go have fun. It's not that serious. Y'all y'all keep making stuff too serious. I went out and had fun. I did not care. I, I knew what I was going to do. I knew what I was getting. <laughs> what was what is better? Happy hour or meeting businessmen at lunch hour? Happy hour. Sprinkle sprinkle. All right, more variety, more options. You could go to both. I mean, I did both sometimes. I went to lunch and a happy hour. <laughs> like back in the day, like I did have a friend that would do the happy hours with me from time to time, or she would, I met her at the happy hours actually. And we would make our rounds. We would go to this place, this place, then come back for happy hour, go to this, this place for lunch, this place for happy hour, then go to this place after. <laughs> The lounge, you know, so we would just make our rounds if you have time. Strategies for building confidence, stay music, dress good, look good. You know, do your makeup. Don't care what other people think. Um, Ladies keep talking about you on TikTok. Good. Good for them. If it's good, I'm happy. If it's bad, I don't care. As long as as long as people are learning, I you know, that's that's great. If it's good, I'm happy. If it's bad, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> How to get dressed for having like you just got off of work. So let's say sex, sexy se sexy secretary or. Sexy, classy looks. You know, you don't want to go in there looking like you at the club. So sexy secretary. Sexy secretary. Or just very basic, sexy, classy. You know, like heels, um, knee length skirt, or, you know, not super short skirt. Don't be showing a bunch of cleavage. It's happy hour. People go there after work. You know what I'm saying? Or some people don't that don't work or don't work that day may go in there dressed a little bit extra because they may be going somewhere after. But try to keep it sexy classy. All right. I just said that. Sexy classy, sexy classy, sexy classy. Keep some clothes in your car. Keep some clothes in your car. If you're coming from work, change before you go. If you if you wear scrubs, change before you go. Because all scrubs gonna do is attract dusties. All right. <laughs> All right, no scrubs, no scrubs. Like TLC song says, no scrubs. Scrubs attract scrubs. All right, take the, take the things off and have you a change of clothes. <laughs> All right, so. Have a bag in your trunk. Go after work, change, and go hit a happy hour. If you don't work somewhere where your clothes are appropriate for happy hour, then go change and go to happy hour. This is like, y'all have to make this a priority. This is not just something that you do on the side. This is not just something that you do on the weekend. If you want to find a provider and have fun and get the most out of your level up journey, you have to put it as a priority. You know what I'm saying? So pack you a bag, get you some clothes, hit the happy hours. Thank you, Norma. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm getting ready to go, y'all. 
and I've been on here too long. So make it make it a priority. You ain't got nothing to lose. You only have everything to gain. Okay, so you have nothing to lose. So do the most. I mean, I have so many great memories of getting dressed to go out, go hang out at happy hour and go hang out at, you know, lunch and do brunch and go out, you know, to the little clubs after or to the lounges and listen to live music. I have so many great memories of that when I was young. And I want y'all to have the same thing. And you meet so many men with money. Okay. Y'all get off the couch, stop scrolling, get dressed and go out. Okay. That's where the men are with money. Stop. Dress however you feel the best. What do men like? What, what attracts men in your opinion? That's what you need to be looking like. Okay. Don't be ratchet though. Because okay, let me tell y'all something about ratchet before I go. If you're in a nice area and there's a wealthy men and you sit up there dressed ratchet, A lot of men will be embarrassed to approach you or talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're too ratchet, they're not going to want to deal with you. So you have to be sexy, classy. Okay. Especially if you're going to the nice areas, you can't go over there ratchet. You got to, you got to level up. If you don't know what sexy, classy is or classy, just look up classy and then add a little bit of sexy to it. Okay. Classy outfits, Pinterest, classy outfits, Google. Thank you so much. You brought I bought your you bought my book. You a dancer with potential providers. One is married. We've been on one date. How to establish my money needs. Girl, he ready to spend already. He you a dancer. He know you cost money. He know he gotta come up with this money. So all you need to do is look in his eyes when you ask. He needs to feel wanted and he needs to feel important and sexy. Okay. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. So flirt with him. Tell him he look good. He's sexy. That you glad you met him and you needed someone like him in your life to just talk to. And get, get his money. You're, you're 19. You're boyfriend is 19 dated three years he comes from single parents so basically poverty and he does well for himself but not enough he was even working two jobs in his should stay inexpensive but I love okay but I love him that's always the excuse ma'am sprinkle sprinkle <laughs> okay you can love him for a couple of more years and were you ready for some money you got to leave him, okay? Sprint, sprint, unless he makes some money. So you got a few more years for love, yes. After 23, 24, you got to start looking for lifestyle and money, okay? So you got a few more years. Have your fun, fall in love, get the relationship experience. Love on him as much as you need to. All right? Like, I'm not trying to tell y'all to leave y'all's dusties. I'm not trying to tell y'all to leave y'all's youngsters. Because at 19, you can't be nothing but a Dusty. You ain't got no money unless your family comes from money or unless you got a really, really good job. So y'all are too young to be carrying what I think. I'm a, I'm a grown woman, okay? That means, you know, if you're over 25, you need to be dating exclusively for lifestyle and money after that, okay? Right now, you're supposed to experience this. So that when you get older, you know what you don't want. You've already experienced love. So you're not going to be missing that. You already know what it feels like to be in love. Because you already you just said you're in love. So you're going to get your feel of that love. And you're also going to get a feel of that, you know, not having what you want. So it's going to start weighing on a scale. Love or what I want. Love or lifestyle. Love or lifestyle. Love or lifestyle. Love's going to start sinking the longer you stay in that relationship. Because when you see everybody surpass you or dating up or having the nice cars and moving into the nice houses, and if he's not improving himself and also leveling up his finances, you're going to start to, your eyes are going to start to wander 
to men with more money who's offering you more. Okay. So usually around the age of 23 or 24, you're going to start getting richer men, especially if you're pretty, offering you more. You're going to start to take them up on it. All right. And if you're dumb, you're going to stick with the man who can't do anything for you, who you've already loved for several years and got to experience love. But he hasn't come up. If he hasn't come up, if he has, great. But if he hasn't changed his finances in that a couple of years, it's going to be a long, long time before he can get his money up. So therefore, you need to start getting on to the next. Okay, so maybe a couple more years. Then open your options. All right. But have fun while you're there, girl. Let me tell y'all something. Whoever I was dating at 19, I'm not married to him. <laughs> All right. So don't even think, don't even think that way. Have your fun and be done. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank y'all so much. Don't send in more super chats. But yeah, y'all have great rest of your evening. Youngsters, experience love, experience your life. Go have your fun. You start getting a little bit older and start dating for money, okay? That means dating men that earn money, dating men that can pay your bills. If you're going to be exclusive and you're over 25, that means that man paying your bills, all right? Period. If you don't think this is possible, then use this time to level up until it is, okay? That means choosing the correct target and leveling up and working on yourself at the same time. That's literally it. Anybody can do it. I promise you. You just have to have the right combination, the right level of confidence and consistency. Mm -hmm. Say so what age did I meet my husband? 22. 22. Yeah, I, I told y'all like I was like I was done dealing with dusties in high school, y'all. Or at least in my teens, you know. I was done dealing with dusties in my teenage years. Okay. <laughs> um you said a RuPaul can do it. Well, we can do it, ladies. Yes, if a six foot, I don't know, see six foot three. Six foot four. If a six foot three, four bald man can do it, ladies, you can do it too. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You're 44, single with two kids. You feel like you waste time with broke men. I'm great shape. I look good and feel good about myself, but a lot of sugar daddies want younger women. Okay. I can go get, I'm 44, ma'am, and I can go get a sugar daddy if I want one. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> if you look good for 44, go get you a sugar daddy, ma'am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, this fan making me sound like I'm saying, oh. If I can do it, ma'am, you can do it. <laughs> All right, go older. You can find somebody in their 60s, ma'am. Somebody with that AARP. All right. Some young men be getting money. Yeah, you can get young man, old man, whatever, as long as they got money. As long as they're spending. As long as they're spending. That's all I can tell y'all. Um, if I, I know, like, if I could do it, y'all can do it. Come on. <laughs> In fact, it should be easier for y'all. It should be way easier for y'all. There was one guy who kept calling. He's 70 years old, girl. You better answer that phone. He could be life alert. <laughs> could be emergency. <laughs> he could be on the floor. Can't move. You the last number he dialed. All right. 
He said Jeff Bezos' fiance is 54. Mm -hmm. How do I deal with chronic illness and get money? Chronic? Don't tell nobody you got chronic illness. Lie. We're okay. Okay, well, here's my thing. If you got a chronic illness that's preventing you from getting out there, then focus on your health. I mean, if you can't get out because of your chronic illness, then focus on your health. You know, one is more important than the other. So if you are chronic, if you have chronic issues, you don't need to be trying to date. You just need to be trying to survive and take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? If it's that bad, if it's not life threatening or anything, if it's not life threatening, you need to find a way to work around it. Okay. I don't know because y'all don't be specific. I can't answer the question correctly if y'all aren't specific. So chronic illness could be irritable bowel syndrome for you and you got to be on the toilet. I don't know. Chronic illness could be something else for you. It could be, you know, a nerve issue. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Y'all got to be more specific. Um. <laughs> How? Yeah, so I don't know. Like, I can't answer the questions if I don't have enough information. All I can do is use my imagination. <laughs> How to get men to approach or bump into you. You got to bump into them. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Especially if it's a busy happy hour and you got to walk through the crowd, bump into them. If it's not super busy, um, you can drop something or you can sit closer to them or sit next to them because usually if it's a bar, it's, you can sit next to people. And usually when you sit next to someone, they start conversation. All right. You said send them a GoFundMe. What? You said. Okay. You said strip club for chronic illness. What? So here's my thing. Look at you said these older goddesses are making excuses and baby goddesses are slow. And these poor sugar daddies are waiting for y'all. Exactly. I don't know why y'all think y'all are too old. To a 65 year old man, you young, you're young. To a 70 year old man, you're young. They they waiting to pay bills. Okay. You think a 70 year old man want a 25 year old? You think a 65-year-old want a 25-year-old? They can't even listen to the same music. She ain't, he not going to understand her. Nothing that come out of her mouth. Okay? Those type of men like women in their 40s and 30s and 50s. Okay? So go get you a 65 and up or 55 and up or 70 and just go get their money. Date them. Go out to eat with them. Go on trips with them. Let them pay your bills. Okay, y'all are trying to get men y'all's own age. Y'all need to go get men who think y'all are still young. Okay, <laughs> like I wouldn't date nobody my own age. I'm like, what you? Y'all, nobody my age can handle me. Okay, like I, no one my age could even handle me. Not no one even close to my age could handle me. I need somebody old and paid that's gonna do what I need them to do. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You said you you are 44 and you preferred older men. When you date men your own age, it becomes a competition. It's an ego thing. You date older men, it's, it's no competition, it's no ego thing. You know, it's easy. They just do whatever you want and give you your money. Especially if they have it. I'm like, you know. The last time I dated somebody my own age, it was it was okay, but it was like, you know, it was interesting, but you know, it was like, you know, mm, no. Too many games. The older you go, the, the less games you play. If y'all don't like games, date older. The younger they are, the more games they gonna play. The older they are, the less games they need to play. So, that's my advice. 
they still gonna be playing games, but they're gonna be easy games. <laughs> All right. It's like playing tic tac toe when you date an old man. You sitting over there playing checkers when you date somebody your own age, okay? You've been that tic tac toe over there, that AARP and the tic tac toe. That's what I'm going for. All right, that's the games you play when you when you date somebody old versus somebody your own age. Mm -hmm. And bigger prizes too for winning that tic tac toe. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> I win. All right. So just think about it like that. Thoughts on gays using your advice? Anybody can use my advice. It don't matter. Sparkle, sparkle. Yes. Use the advice the best way you can. Get your money. You said Bill Gates' girlfriend his fifth, in her late 50s? Okay. Okay. And people ask, keep asking about cheating. Y'all youngsters, you're going to learn soon. Just keep, just keep dating. Do you recommend summer in Houston wigs or weaves? Girl, everywhere I go got air conditioning, so I'm, I'm going to continue to do what I do. Like, if you go on a vacation or if you're going to be outside, um, I don't see too many people outside for long periods of time in the Houston heat in the summertime. So most people are indoors with air conditioning. You know what I mean? So whatever is best for you. You got a 36-year-old to fund your girl's trip to Italy. Thanks, girl. I'll be having a great 33rd birthday. Oh, girl, Sprinkles, are you only 33? You got a 36-year-old? All right, that's good. What do you do for a living, girl? Sprinkle, sprinkle. What's your... What? Yes, I ate Italian food tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't do meat and grease. <laughs> they, they keep sending you some shit. Okay, yeah. Do what you want to do. There ain't no rules. It's up to you. Get your money. All right. Bye. I got to go, y'all. I've been on here over three hours. Y'all just got to be answering all these questions. I hope I didn't miss anything. Uh, thank you, all the members. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all have a great rest of your evening. Y'all make sure y'all click the like button as you go. Y'all get y'all's money. <laughs> Make sure you get your money. Stop settling for dust. If y'all want to join the Patreon, it's in the description link. If y'all want my books, it's at the link at the top of the live comments. And I'm gonna, it's also in the description bar. And I'm going to put it here again. Y'all need to get these books. I do recommend this one for lots of different like tough love and like a lot of, you know, information that you're going to need so you don't fall for the okie doke. You need this book, The Wisdom of Shira Seven. This helps you stop falling for the okie doke. That means falling for lies, tricks, and games for y'all who don't know what the okie doke is. All right. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.